turn this shit on. We live. We live. I know it's getting old because it, it take him an hour to chew that little bit of a piece of beef patty. <laughs> you got to hit the dentist bad. You can't use your... What them shit's called? Your molars? <laughs> Yo, it's, fu- it's a fucked up feeling when you can't use the important teeth. It, it's about a seven-year stretch where ice cream put me to the ground. <laughs> Anything cold, boy. Come on, wake up here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, hey, say something, niggas. We live. We here. All right, good. Good, y'all feeling? Chewing. I want to be chewing in the mic. Feeling good, feeling great. Everybody cool? Yes, sir. Everybody great. good? Absolutely. Happy Wednesday. Happy February. Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Oh, man. Uh, or Black Future Month. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on which way you look at it. <laughs> Who said that? That's what Kanye said. We're not doing Black History Month. We're doing Black Future Month. Hey. Talk to yeah, we're doing right? Black History Month, too. Both. But we should focus on the future as well. <laughs> so? And what else he said? Fuck them NFTs? Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm focused on the real world. I felt him. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I felt him. I get it. I definitely get I it. I was joking around. Like, I, I play toxic. Like, I don't really be trying to be toxic, but playing toxic is funny, right? I was playing around with somebody and I was joking around. Damn, I ain't got no singles today. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> Damn, do I want to use my only single this early in the game? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> make a business decision real joking, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be good for the rest of the pop. I told, uh, I was telling somebody, <laughs> just a joke. <laughs> it's like you had an NFT. I said, like, yeah, my old bitches is my NFT. <laughs> 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 I got their pictures up everywhere. <laughs> I own it. <laughs> I own it, but I don't. <laughs> but I'm like, <laughs> it's it's real, but it's not. Like <laughs> sometimes we good. It's high. Sometimes it's low. <laughs> The world don't even know what's going on with us. Like, oh, yo, the value got, just be gone. Oh, yeah, yo. Sometimes I feel great about it. Sometimes I don't. Like, yo, that's funny. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. That is hilarious. Yeah, I thought it was worth the dollar. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's All good. right, listen. A lot of new music oh, dropped. Man. Last week, we, we recorded on a Thursday because Parks had to go. I was in the yams, man. Why you was dressed like the DJ nigga, man? <laughs> Why you, what's his name? Who? Cassidy. Yeah, why you dressed like Cassidy? Yeah, I was at a, a, a horse race event, so you, you got what I mean? Nah. Parks, I didn't even know you owned white. That was Seersucker, sir. He had Seersucker on. Uh, Seersucker. I hit him with the Seersucker piggity out what, here? What, what's Seersucker? What is that? The Yo. blue and white stripe shit. You don't see? Serious? It ain't shame. the stripes. Shame me. It's the... the family. <laughs> no, shame me Sh- too. Shame me. The- Instead of educating me and enlightening me, it's my, my like brother. Linen. It's something like Lennon. <laughs> my brother on playing Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> You were saying it's something like Lennon. You know, it's the material. You know the material. You've seen it. I know. I never heard it's it. It's striped. It's real fine stripes, and it got like a. Oh, I got some seer sucker. I know a couple seer suckers. <laughs> you know, you, oh, it's man. fine. I it's, can't yo, explain it. It's, it's a texture. Material. All right, it's yeah. like it's a texture. Okay. It, yeah, it's but you've seen it. Yeah, no, it's yeah. good. I didn't know you owned anything that wasn't black. Oh, wait, uh-huh. that ain't sound right either. I just... <laughs> How was it? <laughs> It was, it was a lot of fun. It, it was fun. It was, it, I was hanging out with the uh, the wealthy elite I saw as they gambled on the, on the I saw, horses. I saw a lot of people hey. I know that were there. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Me too. It looked like one of them type of events. I was it like, was. Hey, what do you know about horses? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you there? Look what a little Jaru and little Kim does. <laughs> Get them right out to the horses. Bring them out. Oh, man. It was a lot of fun, though. I told Corey, that's the last year. Last year of what? About three years. I'm going to get there. Before, before it turned it up. Might be two. Wait, before what? I don't know what you're saying. Somebody who else is going to be shot in a couple years. <laughs> Yo, fam. Excuse me? <laughs> Yo, I want to let the audience know that judging from the temperament early on, might be toxic today. <laughs> the chances it are might, high. It might be a tad bit, because somebody got to speak up for men. I had us, man. I was holding us down till my mom fucking started telling me about Nick Cannon. <laughs> I, I see her point. <laughs> but we'll get into it. Uh, what were you saying? That's that yeah, but we'll talk about it. Oh, man. <laughs> what, what you were saying? What's what? that toxic shit you just said? I a horse that. gonna get shot? He I'll good. say what I'll say what he don't want to say. More years. I'll say what he don't want to say. The niggas are coming. I didn't say that. That is um, Happy Black History ice. Month. Ice sickle. I just say officially it ice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm just saying it in a straight up blunt way. But yeah, yeah. Once we find out, we go. But it was and we go in, in numbers. It was fun. The sets were crazy. Mace, Ja Rule, Lil' It's going to be different sets. Eldebarge. Eldebarge killed it. Parts. Yeah. I caught that. It's going to be different sets. Y'all think 
Miami. You don't think we don't know how to act around the horses? <laughs> we just going to shoot a horse? No, not shoot the horses, but it's just going to be different. Well, ice and them peoples get down hey, we, here. We did fuck up Art Gala. Oh, fuck. Art, Art Basel. Art, Art, Art Basel. Basel. Art Basel. <laughs> yeah. To Art Gala. Black, Art Gala. <laughs> Niggas nicked that all the way out. Art Basel. Yeah, no, nah, it's over for Art Black Basel. Black Film Festival. It's been over for a little, a little while. Niggas wasn't going down there to see We, 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 we go back further than that. CIAA, it ain't start off that way. Niggas nicked that out. Yeah. Then they, the COVID took Rock Nation brunch from us. The black, see, no, the, yeah, but that was different. The, nah, the black Grammys. No, no, no. Dang, that was a little different. Black, the, the niggas didn't nick that out, though. That was the black Met. Well, because niggas ain't going to act niggerish around Don't, the whole. Exactly. You're going to try to be your best black person around Jay-Z. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. What else niggas fucked up? I, hey, we, I, I thought we was going to no, take over the Met Gala. We're not doing that on Black History Month. Fuck out oh, yeah, yeah. I thought the Met Gala was going to We die. tried to take over Coachella, but it was too many whites. <laughs> <laughs> now, we tried. We, we went over there and sat on some grass, tried to look at some. <laughs> <laughs> then once they got to the. Mm -chk, mm -chk, mm -chk, yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah nah, nah, we yeah, can't do this. It, yeah, it didn't work. Acoustic guitars. Yeah, yeah it, no. no, it didn't work. Coachella's so thorough, they ask you when you get there, Yo, have you been to Rolling Loud? And if you say yes, then <laughs> I'm sorry. It says right here in the fine print that it's in our discretion that we let you in. Remember the first time you learned about that? The fine print saying it's at our discretion whether we let you in or out. Yeah. I think that was the transition for me when they stopped letting you wear to fit it in the club. And in boots. I was like, our discretion. Mm -hmm. Fam. Remember? And that was before the like, <laughs> uh, before the sensitive time movement. So you couldn't just throw racism into everything. Yeah. Yo, this is racist. Lucky Stripes wouldn't let you in with on the thing. It said, no Timberlands, Damn. no Nike boots. No athletic Damn. gear. No Nike <laughs> boots on the fucking thing. No do-rag. Like, Nike boots no had sweatpants. a chokehold on the hood for a little they minute. Did. I'm glad we have graduated. graduated. We yeah. hope. Never mind. I'm, I'm, we I, got, know. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. We know. Yeah. And we celebrate New Yorkers today. Hold up, man. Let me start this part. Hold up. Mike, check. Mike, 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 Mike. We're going to start dancing. When this comes on, I do dance. Yeah, man. It was a snowy weekend in New York. It was cold in Miami, too, not for nothing. I know I used to be that guy. Enough for y'all. I used right? to be that guy. That enough for y'all, like, though. It was but not cold, but yeah, it was but cold, enough, man. Enough for y'all with that. It was, enough, it was a couple of y'all. 50 in Miami from New York, feels different. Down there in Miami saying that shit. Uh-oh. Shout out to the first and last time listeners. It's toxic today. That's how we on it. I ain't got singles for the uh, cup, but we gonna get there. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Welcome to episode five oh seven of the Joe Button podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here, Ish is here, Ice is here, yeah, yeah. Corey is here. Fresh back back from DC. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause for Corey, yo. They had a horse race down there too. Nah, nah. Yeah, he had a, a dear friend, a dear friend. He needed to pick up from the DC airport <laughs> and bring home to New Jersey. Round another round of applause for. Upstanding black men that show up for love. Mm. It's out there doing your East in the African snow, thing. in the snowstorm. Put that little rear wheel drive on the, on the turnpike. <laughs> the button. Rit risked his life, his freedom. Shout out to him. Young boys in the back. Yo, 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 yo. yo. All right, we good. How's everybody doing? Feeling? What's Feeling up? Good. Talk to me. I ain't spoke good. to y'all since the last time I spoke to y'all. Give it to me. It's nice to get out of New York for a couple days. I'm not gonna lie. It looked nice. Yeah. I'm it looked nice out there. I don't want to hear that, fam. That word is born. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nah, we oh, do. It's cold. Nah. No, 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 no. I got a beef with Parks with that. Give it to me. I cold, told y'all about cold. four weeks in advance. Like, no, 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 no. I was cool with, with that part. sucker with no socks. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> nobody. We Taco didn't... meat show and talking about some, yo, it's cold. Nah, it was, it was chilly, man. Oh, it was chilly down It was there, chilly. Right? For, for Miami time. It was Miami cold. Yeah. When you are in New Yorker and living in New York. You don't expect it. I don't want to hear that shit. You cold. 40 hear. degrees is cold. I could have had the jacket out. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't. I was in a suit. Freezing. Nah, you did it right. You nah. did it. No, nah, you did it. Nah, you look good. Throw, anytime you could throw a suit on, clean up, fi fix up, look sharp. Yeah, Cassidy's a fashion guy, so I couldn't be there. And, you know what I mean? Levi's. And yeah, Wouldn't fit right. You're right. Well, Wouldn't how was right. your Miami experience like away from the work? Because you were there for what? How long? Uh, three days. I was mostly working the whole He's time. Working. Cassidy's very thorough with like sound check. And it was a very uh, intricate. He had two levels of the stage. The artists were up top in like a living room set up on a camera and then the screens pulled back. So then they ran down to the stage to do their set. It was, it was a lot. So it was, depreciate. 
The pre-show, yeah, just doing rehearsal sound check was a long time. Longest I've ever done for a sound check in my entire life. So hmm. I didn't was... really get to have much fun. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And it was Mace. Mace, Lil' Kim, Kim Ja Rule, and ja. Elder Bars came out for like a... Yeah, uh, L did come out. Yeah. Yeah. That's body. Pretty sweet. Body. That's and, dope for uh, us. And Jada Kiss came out and did uh, Benjamin's. That yeah. That's dope for us. Do you, you have any things came from, out? from your weekend that you want to share with us? Shovel snow. For your place or your places or... Just shoveled a whole bunch of snow, okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you want to fix your voice to sound like you awake? Hey, Ice, what's up with you? <laughs> was, um, my daughter's second birthday was Sunday. Hey! So happy birthday! Hey. Thank you, yeah. I, I, you know, everybody know they had COVID, so I canceled. I was I was just afraid. Like, I don't, I don't want her around nobody like that, so I canceled the birthday party. Oh, man. And, um, nah, we, 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 I like it better this way. But um, we took her, it was her first time to an aquarium. Loved it. Mm-hmm. And then we took her to a um, trampoline park was like really that's wide cool. spaced out so she wasn't necessarily around a bunch of people oh that's cool and had a blast nice. so i i realized yo i'm that dad that i was ready to fight kids parents <laughs> the people that work there like anybody that even got close to knocking her over i was like i gotta chill bro this is some shit i can't be at because i was on edge <laughs> but nah great weekend though well in a, in a year or two you get to that spot where you just let the kid walk five miles behind you <laughs> I need to get there because right now, like I'm up on her, like yo, yo, little kids coming over there, yo, move, yo. I love that man. I don't know who needs to hear this, but your kid be mad behind you in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> what did how, I do? How was your weekend? Yeah. yeah oh man, it was great. Uh, it snowed and snowed and snowed, so I figured it was a good time to stay inside and let myself go. I uh, didn't go to my barber appointment, my <laughs> manicure, None my of us. pedicure yeah. appointment. Just, just, junk food, a lot of junk food. Yeah, the fridge wasn't really stocked properly. Mom <laughs> decided not to really cook too much. Oh no, she did cook. We had a lot of food. We had a lot of food. Corey done. Look at him. Because <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, he, cool. he come to your house and rummage through the fridge like bruh man. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked like bruh man a little bit. So it's like, this shit is a fucking mess. Me and my mom looking for short ribs this morning. Almost killed Corey. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got to tell him, yo, you just got to tell him it's oinking it. That's how I, no, he could smell the pork. He smelled it and knew it wasn't pork. <laughs> Dumbass nose. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I did. I stayed in, let myself go. I thought about going to Miami uh, with parks. But when I go to Miami, I don't like to do Miami shit. Like, I like to stay in. And sometimes when you're there, you're like, oh, I could have did this at home. And Not just that, not with the weather. It was 40 degrees down there, bitch. For me, it's not about that because I'm never d- really doing the pool like that. I'm cool with just being away from home. Sometimes you be home too long, you just get cabin fever. You need to yeah. make a move. That was the biggest thing for me. It's like just but getting if, away from New York for a couple days. But if I pop up in Miami and anybody finds out I'm in Miami, it's not really the tr- tranquil, serene trip. It's, yo, where it's at? It's Nori. It's, I see kids out there. Uh, Jim John. And they all out there. Yeah. It's like, but you can't. I mean, you you can't pop up in Miami, stay in without letting people know you're in Miami. You can. I'm saying you because you just said you don't you don't really want to go out. Isn't it a way to just go on some relax mode shit and not let nobody like I don't you don't got to post a picture no, nothing just like I'm chilling. Yeah, the but cool if, thing about but the if you're horse famous shit. and you walk outside. The horse, the horse shit you would have been actually cool at because it was a daytime party. So by the time it's over, everyone's pretty much tired and shit anyway. Like you would. Been able to go to that, have fun, see people for a little bit, and then get the fuck out of there and go about your business. Yeah, see, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Man, get you a, one a of those especially dinner. nice little clothes. Yeah, you dress, dress well. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, man. Nice yeah, but then get you one of them push iced masks. But then we'll see you. Then at some point, you did get to jumping while you're by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. This I want to say. I know. This, I know. No. This is all cool. Nah, I, I said we're toxic nah. today. If you listening, you offended, and fuck it, it is what it is today. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you did get to jumping, and I ain't want to say nothing. Yeah, man. We we all been there. And then what you do in that moment is very important. Yeah. But we'll not we'll not talk about that. Let's just get right to it. Let's, Let's start. What's the biggest news? ASAP, Rihanna. Yeah, that's the biggest news, man. Yeah. Round of applause. Round yeah. of Clap a- it up. Clap it I up. I am so I was so angry. I had to deal with being angry that I have to this is the final stab to my ASAP Rocky hate. <laughs> like, he did it. He I, did I have it. I have to stop hating him now. He did it. I don't like that when you like gotta stop hating somebody. <laughs> Like, I kind of enjoy <laughs> hating a few niggas just... <laughs> just because? <laughs> yeah, and now's not the time to bring up why, but I always felt the way about some of the comments he made about, you know, when all the murders and shit was happening. 
Um, he's like, yeah, don't ask me about none of that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm a rapper. I'm like, oh, got it. A little tone deaf. But I get it. But, you know. but I get it. Yeah, but tone deaf can make you feel the way. And that's not that's not his fault. And I need to be more understanding. This year, I'm going to try to do that. So I'm happy. I'm super happy for them. Like, this is a beautiful story all around the board. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. You used to date, both went their separate ways, learned themselves, learned other people, and came back in bliss. Nah, this Looking is great. good, more successful than ever, both of them. First child for both of them. Mm-hmm. Don't love it. Like that. we have a new entry into the power couple world. Wish I mean, it, it just is what it is. This shouldn't have come as a shock for too many people. If you know a New York nigga and women, a New York nigga, he had up there in the fuck uptown looking for chopped cheese. Y'all thought it was just, <laughs> what, what did y'all think was going on? Honestly, like I was surprised at some of the shock and the surprise. She looked happier than ever. Mm-hmm. Like you could look in a woman's face and see, see what's going on. Yo. Well, let's be clear. Man glow. And we unpacking shit today. Fuck it. Let's unpack it. All right, let's get Man it. Man glow, how, how men interpret a glow and how women interpret it may be different, right? Because a woman will go through a breakup, do her best to be presentable to uh, to, uh, to not show all that she's going through, and you'll see 3,000 women talk about, oh, you look so much better after you left that nigga. You see right through that. Oh, my God, the self-love. Look what happens when you get the toxicity out of your life. <laughs> or all of that. And the nigga be sitting there reading like, yo, dog, that ass? <laughs> like, y'all don't see through this fucking contour? <laughs> they, don't. They, don't. they don't they don't men could look and see oh he doing the right thing mm-hmm. know why they don't be contoured up they be minimalistic mm. but they be <clears throat> they eyes start sparkling in a gray way gray sweats that, but they looking yeah. like they got on yeah. a prom gown yeah they, they look skin start glowing yeah. with mm-hmm. some whole other shit yeah. they just be it, do, it, it is a different look yeah. it is a different look like love does that to you I couldn't be more ecstatic for them. I couldn't be more ecstatic for me. I am so happy about this. Well, t- tell me more. We're finally getting take care too. It's gonna happen, yo. It's gonna. It's coming. Hello. Forget about it. <laughs> Wait, y'all think I was gonna lose Rihanna music, ASAP music? We lost a little while ago, but it looked like there's gonna be more. Mm. But he taking Rihanna out. Now you gotta give me something. Take care too. It's coming. <laughs> You might be on some. And I didn't want to be the guy, but then the internet did it. And they started Post making their little memes it. and their jokes. And then I felt bad. Why? Because I'm for men. I'm a man that is for men. Healthy men, by the way. Not these nasty niggas. You're a I'm a minimist. Men- meninist. 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 I'm a meninist. I am. So I understand the hurt that comes with Seeing the one that you thought was yours. We all been there. Get pregnant. We all been there. Or not be yours. I can't even imagine the difficulty that comes with, I was that nigga my whole life. Like, they compare me to the Beatles. I think it's nasty that Drake name even got to come up in this. I do. Mm. But men know men. Right. So they hit him and Chris Brown up. <laughs> and they let Tore them their asses up. And it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair because what fair. did they do? They got they got their own shit going on. But the internet did it. And here we are. And I understand that pain. Like to be scrolling your phone and, and that joint. Your joint. That's yeah. your joint. Yeah. That's your NFT, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Another nigga posted the pic of your NFT and they made a baby NFT. <laughs> yeah. That hurts. That hurts. To that, you gentlemen, say what? Don't yeah and uh. Oh, nah, I feel you. Say something, goddammit. We here today. I'm up. They're going to be going through it for a little bit. They're going to be going through it for a lot of it. That ain't no quick hurt right there. The, yo, yo, the one that you... Yo, one? Yeah. This hurts. Nah. That's, a, that's a pain. It's a stinger. Yeah. It's a stinger. But why are we saying that this is his one? Because everybody that's knows... What, that ain't what I want. Yeah, I was going to say, how do we know for absolute certainty that's his one? Because he's been saying it for like th- yeah, I was 13 say, years that's on that's every song, why I, every one? award show, a drink Great. at least. I don't think it's... See, Chris... It ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't so much. Chris, that's just, that's that's just being the internet, funny. Being but the but Drake, Drake really has professed his love and adoration and admiration for Rihanna on a big scale. And he always spoke about them two as if it's only me and you at this level. So mm-hmm. might as well. And that's where it fucking gets that's where tricky, it yo. Yeah, yeah. That's where it hurts. 
What's tricky? But what do you mean? Because for him, I'm gonna punch Parks in his face. <laughs> Look for him. If if and I hate this, ugh, but yo, for him, we do a podcast. Not if if if, if he <laughs> did that, if 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 Drake and Rihanna tied the knot or yeah. went down that road, he knows with absolute certainty she ain't on him for who he is. True. You get what I'm saying? Any other chick that he meets, it's fifty fifty. If she oh, fucking with saying, you for it. Drake or if she fucking with you for all, and that and that does give you a comfort you know? level. Yeah, if you feel like you feel like yo, even if I lose her, it's a small pond of who I could lose her to. Mm-hmm. And now I'm taking this just kind of off Drake because I don't want to talk about people personally. But when someone outside of that pond just appears, just swim up. How do you deal with it? And how do you deal with it as one of the wealthiest, one of the flyest, dopest, whatever? I'm, it's me and the Beatles. That is tough as a man. I always listen. I always go to. I always go to that first season of Power. I think the women that I was fucking with at the time scorned me because they like looking at ghost fuck, but they just like looking at ghost fuck. My mind was always on. He just murdered nine people and is fucking the pain out with you. Mm. It that's deep. So now what got to happen here? <laughs> You take, you take know what guy? Oh, and get that and, pain out. and it's a few. Uh, listen, <laughs> listen. It might be a scary listen, hour was coming. I'm <laughs> trying to talk without <laughs> talking, yo. A movie is on the way, <laughs> and it a, better be some Spielberg shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, yo. Think he'll address it, huh? What? Excuse me. Think he'll address it. Who? ASAP. Drake. Yes. 100%. One hundred percent. One million. It, one, and, yes. Yeah. He might. It, nah, he's sensitive. It, yeah. Ask. And you're gonna peek through the lyric and say, "Uh." Now tell me what y'all are gonna say when that happens, and that's a shame that we still talking about. I know. I really. Man. I'm trying to get off of this, but yeah. <laughs> I know because y'all ain't saying shit, but well, I know no, y'all just, have a lot to share. It's about not that. It. It's just so I don't want to shit on they. Nah, it's just feel like we shitting on her on their moment by talking so much about Drake with this shit. Honestly. That's why I have well, nothing, nothing to really more say about for it. us to say, but congratulations to them and how beautiful it is. That's that's the end of that. They did it. The pain yeah. is coming. We we all agree on that. Well, I think I believe we do. Mm-hmm. The pain is coming. We know him. We know how he give it up in his lyrics. He's been giving it up on records with her. And they make beautiful songs. They get busy. Yeah, I'm like sure we, they would have had an album. Now that's a dead. Fam, <laughs> come <laughs> on. I you mean, know what you're getting. I don't know if he's going to be in his feelings. I know when your one get away, you be feeling some sort of way. Hell yeah. You feel some type it, be of your, it be your one for a minute. You She get away, you be like, uh. Him? But how you... Oh, damn. That's what you're doing. <laughs> That's what you're doing, Ma. I mean, my my little fake one I had back in the day got there away. There we go. I, I felt like something. There we go. Sorry. Come on. It's finally. Fucking oh, work with me. be one somebody. <laughs> Yo, anyway. Now, you, you just... He feeling it. If that's his one. He deep, deep, deep in his emotions right now. Because mm-hmm. again, for him, Shorty having a baby with another nigga, you, I turned into Forrest Gump. I was jogging so much trying to get that shit out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. Ben Ego be different. You got to be in your own feelings. I don't think he'll put it on wax. I 100% think he's going to put it on <laughs> wax. You're getting a double, double disc. No, he's, he's, you I, got, I got 50. I'm going to take that. And I'm from bet Canada. Like that. So just so I'm clear, you think this guy is not putting this on he ain't gonna say her name on. but you gonna he's Wait. gonna put it on what just so I understand he might change the name yo you know he got sued for this for taking a real voicemail and put it on there you think this person is not saying a word never I'm just saying you could do alright I'm done talking about <laughs> I'm done talking about Drake I, I am finished talking about Drake I don't think you word. I am done and yes, Ish, I have sent a text that I shouldn't have sent before. I don't care if you judge me for it. I think a lot of men have done that. Sometimes it was a dirty Mac text out of ego and hurt. That's a real. That's a realistic scenario for men. It is. Like, I don't want us to come on here just fronting because we men. Niggas understand what's going on here, yo. And it's painful. To that, to- Possibly. I mean, we've all been through the, the the relationship ups and downs. I don't know. How long ago they stopped fucking with each other? They were together in 2013. 2013. 
I mean, I've been in relationships. I don't know if he still considers his, her his one, but you be fucked up when you initially break up. I don't know, 10 years down the road, you still feel like that, but... Mm. I heard he and followed them both on the ground. Mm. He did. He did? He did. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's, that's, come on. Yo, that's all, I'm that's sitting here trying to ride for my light-skinned brother. This thing gonna <laughs> unfollow them? You should just ride for all your brothers during Black History Month. But, <laughs> but, yeah, that's a move. That's a today move. Yeah, it is. Y'all don't fuck with you. I'm letting you know that I don't fuck with you. See, but this is where it get a little tricky and I'm off of them. But... Sometimes you, that's your one, and then she lets you know that it's no longer like that. I think she's been doing that. She's, she has let she's it be. Been doing she that. has. She has. So I'm sitting here empathizing, empathizing, but she made herself clear, yo. And it was mad other relationships. Yes, that's They what. were public. She walked off the stage at one point. Like, we was there for all of that. So that's just entitlement. Ego. Ego. I think I think it's ego. It's, all like, ego. it's, it's me. I'm at it's the top ego, of the yeah. list. No matter what, you're going to end up back here to me. How do you know when you lost? Can I ask y'all that and y'all respond or no? You you know you lost when she posts a picture smiling, holding a dude hand with a baby bump. No, that's when the race is really, really, really over. But sometimes you lost <laughs> before the baby. No, you said, how do you know? You might never think you lost. You could always think, even if she yeah, was this I, nigga, I, I got your me a ego, shot. I think if your ego, I, you really want to keep it a buck. Yeah, the nigga might not still think he lost. True. Like when certain niggas' egos be they ego, you feel like yo nobody can hold the candle to me, nigga. I'm me. I don't give a fuck yeah, if you got married but... fifteen times. You still longing for me. And it also depends on what the communication and shit is. All of that. I'm when, just saying. When you think this your one, and I I'm not putting this on them. I'm talking about just in general. Yeah. You think you've come across your one? Y'all done had them conversations at some point. Family building together, all of that. You had them conversations and you might still think I got my shot because she hasn't found that with anybody else. The things that we talked about. When you, I'm, let me finish. No, I ain't saying nothing. When you see it, oh shit. Not she got knocked up. No, no, no. This is a happy pregnancy here. They holding hands, smiling and did a reveal. Like when you start seeing that Shit hit a little different. Yeah, is what I'm saying. fucking full of shit. Yo, bro. I've it's, seen that before. Seventy percent of niggas. That'd be, that be fake though. Be clear, nigga. If you want really want to kick it, chicks be out here doing that just because. And so when this is where your ego kicks in. Yeah, he was the plan B. I wasn't ready. He was the plan B. You want to talk toxic man shit? Niggas be like, yo, I could get that. I could get her back today. If I wanted to. He was the plan. And that, and that, but, that's, that's niggas lying to themselves too. That don't necessarily no, 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 be that. No, no, That'd no, be no, like no, no, that sometimes. No, 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 no. The nigga lying to himself said I could get her back if I wanted to, but I don't want us right now, so I'm not gonna get her back. You know, he can't get her back. I'm not even talking about them. And a lot of times, the nigga can't. He it, it, that's what he tell himself to sleep better at night is that I could get her back whenever I want. And let me advance it. Let's pretend that you can get her back. Oh, now it's two of you. It's not the same. Whatever your position is, you share that position. However tight y'all was, you can see there's another person that she is sharing that intimacy with, that closeness that you thought was exclusive to you. It don't necessarily need to be a baby. It don't need to be a pick. Yeah, but I again... I, you could see when your spot ain't really your, ain't spot, your spot no more. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? I think so. If you savvy enough or been around enough women or been mm -hmm. around the block enough, mm -hmm. you know what's going on. And but, again, you might have to just tell yourself some shit to sleep at night because otherwise you're going to be upset. And as men, and we do that. We do that. Yo. We've been upset. We do that. We, I've been We tell up. ourselves some shit. We hit her about the nigga. She hit the nigga about what you said. Yep. Like, yo, <laughs> come on, man. And that's when you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do y'all want a pod you know. or nah, not, she tell yo? A nigga, <laughs> if I tell a nigga, then it's a problem. But then she come but back. But I don't and, really be doing that, but... No, we got that. She's telling we nigga, know, we know that you don't do that. But then she come back and tell you what he said. Mm -hmm. Do y'all want to talk or not? See, no, no, no. <laughs> stay there. Stay there. I, yes. I, I think it's fake then. If she comes back and tells you, yeah. If she if she tells a nigga what you said and come back and tell you what the nigga said, she's fake. She's playing two sides. She's playing both sides. Yeah. She just wants the attention. She's doing it. That. I started with that. No, but the fact that she's coming back <laughs> to you. No, you saying she comes back to you and tells you what the nigga said. I'm saying, oh, you, you, just... you take that differently than me. Yeah. If no. you come back and, and are regurgitating, if, an, if I'm telling you something for you, mm. 
Because that's what it'd be with like a real nigga. Something. Yo, this for you, yo. Here, do with this what you will. And now she come to you regurgitating his response when she went and. She's, nah, that's mad she's telling. She should, that's yeah, she's mad, mad telling. Messy. Yeah. That ain't telling me. She shouldn't me. be coming back to you saying yeah. nothing. It's if, telling if, me if, if I'm messy. over you, like, like, yo, I've had instances okay. in my past where the dude was trying to get her back and he swore this was his one. He blowing her phone up. He's sending messages. He's everything possible he could do. She's showing me the message right next to me, like, yo, look at this nigga. I was like, answer it if he calls him. Man, fuck that. I just want you to say, like, look at him. But she's not running yeah, back yeah. saying nothing that I know that it didn't get back anywhere. My opinion is if she really over you, you can say whatever the fuck you mm-hmm. want right. to say. I'm not even telling my dude. Much less I'm going to carry the mail from my dude back, back to, to you. you. Yeah, no. no, never. That don't happen when it's over. When she's really over you, that don't happen then. But you said that's when it's really over, when she comes back and tells you what the nigga said. Over as in your position is no longer exclusive. Not over as in you can't be with her again. You saying it like you share that spot now. Yeah. Is what you talking about. Yeah. When we say over, we talking about there is no yeah. spot for you no more. Yeah. It's over. Nigga, you, you, you could do whatever you want. As Nothing a man, is good whatever you want. As a man. Yeah, whatever a, you want to do. As a man, I'm not grat- gratified and, oh, no, you feel like that about me, but you feel like that about him. Oh, you're with him. I can fuck you whatever I want, though. Like, a lot of men find solace in that. Mm-hmm. Again, and it's a lot of niggas that's lying to themselves thinking they have it like that, but they really don't. They think, oh, she's with him. I can fuck him whenever I want, but I, that's what they tell their boys to look good. Ah, that's still my work, man. So that's what happens when you really could do that? Do it. Man, round of applause for Harlem niggas. Round of applause for Harlem niggas. You can get it. Don't niggas. tell me. I'm from Missouri. Show me. If you can fuck her like that, like you say, you could go do it. Nobody All that talk know. don't mean nothing. You just saying that to sound good, to look good around your niggas. Ah, man, I ain't off that. Yeah, that's still my joint, man. That's still whatever. That's whatever yeah. help you sleep better at night, bro. Yeah. She's happy, and she look like she ain't returning your texts or calls or nothing, but you want to be poked. You want you so prideful, you can't mm. show that, so you got to act like I still got that in. That in could have been closed a long time ago. You just can't take the L and let the niggas know that. Perfect example of this. Meek tweet. What did you tweet? I love a good Meek tweet, yo. <laughs> and we'll get back to this because I want to. I do want to talk about. We know how men feel. We know how New Yorkers feel. Yeah, we up. <laughs> um, New Yorkers. I, I do want to talk about how women feel about this. But Meek tweeted, and I quote: "Dog." Well, that's not the quote. That's how I read it. <laughs> <laughs> you did not hit my girl, little chick, or whatever you call it. I just ripped before you. I know it's a little exciting that we touch the same women, LOL. You don't got to downplay me to boost your ego up, LOL. Just vibe out. I want to ask each of you how y'all interpret that. Because I've been Is listening. Is this the I hit it first argument? No, it's, yo, I'm, I'm famous. And if you pop something that I pop, uh-huh. you run around saying you pop my chick. This just because I hit it, that don't mean she my chick. Oh, okay. I just hit it before you hit it. She ain't mine. She... For the streets. See, from this is this is this is just fun. This is just this funny is. for me because it's the same meek that said if a nigga hit my chick, I'm just gonna keep it player. That's and, what he's saying. No, that's not what he's saying. He's saying you ain't hit my chick. Like you just, I just hit before she's not. If you basically, if you got her, she ain't mine no more. You can't hit my chick. That's what I take from this. You no, didn't hit my girl. No, I took this. Whoever he talking about was his favorite little thing. Mm. It was his favorite little thing. And something happened, but he still thought it was his favorite little thing. Mm-hmm. And something outside of the pool did something. And he ain't like it. And he heard some stories. Nigga ran around. They running around. They going to eat. They had fucking great adventure. Wherever they going. And it's getting back to him. And this is the response. <laughs> Yo, just catch a vibe, dog. I know she dope. Relax, though. Stop talking about me. Stop holding hands while you, you do you extra with it. Just chill. She cool. I know she cool. I was there. That is exactly what this says. It's ego. But this if you don't ego. know that this says that, right? Because a lot of niggas see that you don't know what this means unless you've been there. <laughs> this is how men respond to some of this shit. But anyway, enough about I, men. I like his response. You like whose response? Me. I like that response. What, what do you like about that? 
Fam, you ain't hit. Yo, chill. If you hit it, you hit it. I know you happy. You run around telling niggas, yeah, I'm fucking with Meek Chorty because you less than me. You want to put yourself in the same stratosphere as I'm in. Just be cool, my nigga. You got it. You got it. Well, I'm with that part, saying a nigga yeah, name. Like, yeah, oh, it's like, Meek Chick. Like, I don't care about none of that. I'm, I'm just running around that... trying to get props. Niggas do that. Oh, no. Niggas are glad to touch the same chicks yeah. that some other niggas touch. Nigga, that, that's what he's feel saying. like I'm on your level now because I'm touching. And you think it should be said? If well, that's what problem. he's saying, I didn't think that's what it he was saying. It depends on how how outlandish the other niggas getting. Like certain niggas are running around trying to shit on your name. He's saying, yo, you don't gotta downplay me because you pop shorty. Don't be running around like, yeah, I'm popping his chick. That ain't my chick, dog. Niggas be, niggas be excited though. Niggas do be excited. I'm not disagreeing. So and he's you saying feel a way about chill them. with your excitement, my nigga. Yeah, but that's not one us to say. So leave my name out of it. If a nigga comes popping your old work. And they like, yeah, I got Joe Shorty, blah, 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 blah. Nigga did that. It's happened to me. How many times? <laughs> I which, did it. And which, even when, and which even time when that, you want to talk look, about? Look, even when that happened, uh, one of the bigger times, I watched everybody clown you. I'm like, he don't look like a clown for that? No, it depends. Yeah, he did too. Like, that's, what, that's all I took from Forget he, the fact that Joe, my man's in the I'm just I, looking at the situation. Like, that's what he's saying. Why is that? No, why is no, he no, bigged no. up for, you pop my old work? I wish I knew what time they were doing. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, in that instance, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> good, good. You got And, and, yeah, and yeah, I'm, and I'm saying, and I'm forward. saying, he does look like a fool. So, Joe wouldn't have been wrong if he said, yo, my nigga, chill out. That's my old work. I know you happy. You got it. I think he did say it. There you go. You wouldn't be wrong. That's what he's saying to me. I think it's nasty to say it. Cool. I do. Clowns oh. got to be addressed, though. You got to address clowns. Let no, them know, yo, you're, no, you you're moving like a clown. Sometimes no address is an address. Right. Yeah. Like, and if you really, man. and if you really are full of this love and confidence and your ego is based on whatever I'm you that think nigga. Is, yeah. Then, then, nah, then you have, you got to go be that nigga. Yeah. That's true. Anything that falls outside of that, that ain't a touchdown. Ain't six points. Mm, <laughs> and tweeting to somebody that you think is lesser than or reacting to somebody that you think is lesser than while he got whatever he's running around with, it just makes you appear a certain way, even if that's not the case. It makes you appear bothered. And I'm not speaking about me not necessarily. Me. Yeah. I have been here 90 million times, It just Joe. makes you appear bothered. I was just taught, I have, I have gotten my car and spun Dykeman blocks at 3 a.m. <laughs> hoping to catch that little nigga out there. <laughs> Beneath me. Yeah, I agree. Totally out of character. And... Might not even know what happened if I seen somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm. But guess what? In that moment, I was psycho enough to look. Shit happened. <laughs> on to the women. Yo. Come on, you niggas stop ladies. looking like answering your pants. Nah, nah, nah. I, on to the, they have to be happy for Riri. Bullshit. Round I'm, of applause for women yo, loving women each other. It. No. Women loving and no. pouring into each other. I couldn't believe this shit I saw, dog. You saw a lot of hate? I, I saw mostly love. Damn. <laughs> 70 30? Yeah, probably something like that. That's it, a lot of the hate. 30 is disgusting. That's, dis- no, that's a no lot doubt. of hate. No doubt. Fam, they dissing the shit out of Rocky. He ain't did nothing. They dissed the shit out of Rihanna. How dare you? No, they dissing Rocky. But I, the disrespect him, but to her is via him. Right. Yeah, you, true. No, you're right. They ain't dissing her. No, no, but no, I've seen she's stupid for doing X, Y. That's a diss to her saying she's that. She's stupid for downside. What'd they say? Downgrade. 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 You downgrade it. That's dissing him. That's dissing her too. They're being dissed. Yo, we ain't got to go back and forth that. on that. We they don't both have to. are being dissed. But the fact is, women fucking hate each other, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe this. Like, women were straight up upset. I mean, I've only been telling you for... I liked you better with this person. That's weird. Yeah, they liked he you He was a billionaire. How billionaire. dare you? That's weird. They did say, how do you leave a billionaire for him? I was like, Maybe because I got my own B. Right. <laughs> Maybe because that billionaire was treating me like a piece of shit, and y'all don't know that. And or she just didn't to, like him. And it helps you have your own B. Helps to have your own B. <laughs> a B is nice. Oh, nice, like cute. Alpha yo, alpha. y'all to be too, y'all are nuts. That's no, all they, I can they, say. They different. I saw a couple other women saying, "Oh shit, Rihanna pregnant. All right, I gotta hurry up and have a baby now." I saw a lot of that. There's a lot of that. Y'all I, are fucking I, nuts. And that is the problem. Plan B sales will be down. <laughs> for the rest of the year, fellas, yo. be careful. 
Fellas, Valentine's Day right around it, the corner. She made it look it's, cute. It's over, yo. I'm gonna be surprised if it may. Go get I some see hot a whole bunch of pink gentlemen. bubble they, gooses they, nah. with their stomach opening. Nah, they, they, nah, nah, they want a baby. No, they, yeah. nah, they want a baby. They, they want to wear the bubble gooses. Well, I yeah. seen somebody do the, redo the exact same. Yeah, 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 no, they want to wear. They want this. Ain't gonna be too many Plan Bs this summer. And yo, they sell stock yo, yo, this has really changed the course of the summer, yo. Like, if they get to fucking now and shooting up the club now, it's a lot of our favorite sundresses that's going to just be stripped away from the summertime. Mm. They're going to be sitting up in the house. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner? That's what I just said. <laughs> Sit her down for the summer. February, you park it right here, ma. Yo, wanting a baby because Rihanna got one is sick and insane. But I definitely have had a woman leave me because lemonade dropped. By Beyonce, <laughs> so I don't put nothing past. Fam, I saw women, women confused at Lemonade at the end, like, yo, so do I leave this nigga or not? <laughs> like, tell you, you didn't make it clear enough. What do I do? Hey, fam, like, what Beyonce is wrong with got you? enough power to make you leave your nigga. That's sick. Oh, no, you, Beyonce, you need Beyonce, a has, hug. Beyonce has Beyonce. You need a hug. I definitely don't want to hear Rihanna happy music. Sorry. You're not, don't worry. You, I'm You're not, not hearing no I know. music. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. I've been telling y'all, but dub. it's over. Big dub. Now it's really a rap. What? It's been a rap. It's been a rap. I love when like like her last album her last true. album is anti but now she's in love with a baby doing shit like that she's never done before. Like I love that. Okay. Fans gotta be ready to grow with an act, yo. Like you can't That's just true. start shitting on people because like whatever Nicki Minaj said to Rihanna, really like, what did she say? You find you've been blessing us for so long, finally a gift a gift for you. Like it paused That's me. That's, That's hard. That's dope. It paused me. That's hard. This nigga been working her ass off. Facts. For mad long, I think she got the Def Jam when I was like on the way out or something like that. Oh five, oh, yeah, it's, it's mad long. Fifteen years or so of dominance mm -hmm. of sheer in multiple yeah, worlds. Yeah, I jumped over here. I dom she. They open in brick and mortar stores now. Mm. Like she's not playing. And I fashion assume... shows all like yo Rihanna is killing shit. We're not seeing them for at least three years. If ever. We're not if seeing ever. an yeah. album. Yeah. Put if the period ever. after album. She might she might throw a name on one of ASAP albums. You might get yeah, you might get a little feature. Background. You might You'll get a feature, feature yeah, or something. Yeah. You're not getting a full length Rihanna solo project. It's not happening. Yeah, she's definitely gonna be on one of his hooks. And before y'all yeah. take this the wrong way, because I saw the clip floating around, they tried to say you were shitting on Cardi B. That's a good <laughs> thing. Nobody's right. dissing anybody. That's not a diss. It's not a diss. Yeah, I love Cardi, yo. Cardi's my girl. Like, I think I've expressed that 20 billion times Jeez. on this podcast. And But I get that we're in, like, clip era. Yeah. Like, that's big. Everybody don't have the time, especially her, to watch a three-hour podcast and really dig into what you said. So we're just seeing something and we're being reactive. I, I want to be as understanding to that as Andy, possible. And you don't necessarily want to hear the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if you see a clip and it appears that they're shitting on you, you're not necessarily going I to hear the rest, whole shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, then a large part of that too is how 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 was the clip introduced to you? Mm -hmm. What was that the too. what was the caption mm -hmm. that they wrote underneath the salacious monetizing motherfuckers that be doing that shit? Or mm -hmm. no, one of your home. Well, what no, your no, homegirls? Yeah, I about to say it was. I don't even think it was yeah. that way. No. I think somebody said, "Yo, they shitting on you." Look. Yeah, that was the next one. Uh, so I want to make myself clear to Cardi and her husband Offset because that's a big thing. Yes, that I love y'all, and I'm never implying that uh, Cardi is lazy. I just know what music is today for people, and mm -hmm. that is a loss leader or like an introduction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what what did she say that you implied? Her she quote. Was lazy? Um. <clears throat> I, I, all right. Well, your quote. You want to read what you said first? No, I'm not okay. reading what the fuck I said here. I, I, <laughs> I'm just saying. I said, so to put I it said some shit. She thought yeah. I was calling her lazy because I said that she had all the time and resources to handle this, uh, handle this Tasha K shit because she's not making an album. And I've been saying that we're not getting an album for a while. I doubled down on that. Her last project was 2017 or 2018. Somewhere there. It's, yeah. it's been about close to four years, but she's extremely busy. I didn't mean that to imply she's not working. In my next breath, I stated how much money she's given away. If she's an earner, yeah. that's not from laziness. That is sheer work ethic. And I'm going to always support her, even if she dissed me every fucking day, because I was in the strip club. Yeah, I, you see, I, see, I where, see where it started at. I synced it. I was there. It's impossible to diss her. The other day, I, the other day I, I was checking the little bartender lineups out there, and I saw one of the girls dancing that I haven't seen her in a while, 
But where I know her from, she was Cardi's best friend and partner. Mm-hmm. And and they were strip club partners as they hopped around from Brooklyn to Queens mm-hmm. and Jersey. And the other girl was bad. Cardi maybe at the time wasn't the baddest in the strip club, but her mm-hmm. partner was bad. And I'm looking at her still be bad today. And then I'm thinking about Cardi. Mm-hmm. Like, how could you be from New York and not mm-hmm. stand up and salute that? So, Cardi, I love you. I'm really sad you misinterpreted me that way. And I don't even blame I'll that try, on her. I'll try, to, I'll try to be better. That's not on her. That, Like you said, that's on whoever introduced that to her. Because that's what people do. They look for this little clip to get some shit started. I'm taking the onus off of people this year. I'm putting it all on me. <laughs> but I, if you, I will be better. Fam, all right. I, I'm, I know Zen Joe, all that shit. If I'm, pra- <laughs> if I'm praising you and a motherfucker decides to take 10 seconds of that and chop it to and flip it that I'm dissing you, what else can I do? There's nothing you could take off of them. That was intentional. I have to put my praise in a 10 second clip and hope that they take this it. Niggas nuts. I'm just joking around. Um, her, her, her quote, um, she said, I heard something about me and I don't like that. I don't know why motherfuckers assuming shit about me and I really don't motherfucking like that. I'm hearing, right, a little bird was talking about me I'm a, I am yeah, a yeah, yeah, I was say, you, got, you, got, you have to. You have to. She's right, yo. She's right. <laughs> Why I'm do sorry. you love birds? I am a fucking oh bird. my God. Um, I'm hearing right that a little bird was talking about me and practically was saying that I'm not doing anything because I don't have an album out and all that shit. It's yeah, like, somebody said that. That's a Yeah, call. that's somebody yeah. telling you. That's yeah. a call. You could not possibly have heard what I said and walked away with that. Cardi is not on that side of things, I don't think. No, but it's somebody that listens. <laughs> To the it's, it got back to somebody close to her. This is bro. two separate conversations. Yeah, the one conversation where you constantly saying, "Yo, she's mad busy. She got family now. She not thinking about an album." And you keep saying, "We not getting an album no time soon." Is one whole different set of pods mm-hmm. than when you was talking about her giving out money to everybody. It's fine. We love them both. We wish them the best. Round of applause. What am I applause? I'm not applause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we. I'm not jumping. The music. It's more babies. There is more babies. There's more babies. Yeah, there is. The Brad is pregnant. Round of applause. Congratulations. Brad, we love you. Yo, love is in the air, man. City boys down. (laughs) City boys boys are down by like 100. It's fine. City boys could be up with love. I mean, okay. Niggas knocking people up. (laughs) Yeah. They ain't getting knocked up by themselves. Nah, it's the suburb boys. ASAP <laughs> ain't no sub, suburb boy. It's a Harlem nigga right there. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's, it's, it's Harlem week. <laughs> it's Harlem, yeah, it's Harlem what you week. Yo. About? City is, boys is actually up. Yo, this is the last win that the Harlem niggas needed, yo. They already felt like they was the niggas after Peyton Full. <laughs> nah, this got them back, though, because they, they took a little notch down after the verses. So they back. Nah, they back. Yeah, they back. ASAP yeah. did it. Salute yeah. to Harlem. ASAP. Yeah, nah, mm-hmm. he did it. He did. Uh, All right. I didn't see so much excitement about Nick Cannon's big reveal. And for me, it was a roller coaster watching women be uh, totally excited about Rihanna mm-hmm. and then totally shit on Nick. But that's my man brain. And the further I thought about it and spoke to my mother, <laughs> this is a deep one. What did Miss Faye have to uh, This is a deep offer. topic. Uh, if you don't know, Nick Cannon revealed that he is expecting his eighth child with uh, a model. I'm not, I don't, I'm not getting into that. With a model. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's great, unless you don't view it that way. And apparently a lot of women out there don't. What I'm hearing, I can't speak for anybody, is they think this is like sperm donor-ish. Like, okay. to plant your seed everywhere when you won't, no matter how uh, well off you are, you won't have the time to be as present in all of these children's lives. Mm-hmm. They think it's selfish. They think it's a little irresponsible. Mm-hmm. They further that with Nick Cannon has a talk show and he made his announcement on his talk show. Okay. Okay. He lost the child probably a month ago. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure on the time because I'm not reading this. It's something like that. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was cool. about yeah. a month ago. Around, and while he's expressing his excitement over his current pregnancy, the last woman that lost her child and went grieving. through that very dark time with him has to watch it, is still grieving, and it hurts. And she replied, I thought her reply was really classy. She said, I want to thank every single person who has messaged or thought of me over the course of these last few months. I always say Zen expanded my heart in ways I never thought possible. 
He filled that space with compassion, knowing I would need that the most. It is painful having my son be a part of conversations that aren't in alignment with his light and legacy. It isn't something I chose for him or myself. It's important for me to let you all know I am centered. I am at peace. I look at everyone's predicament with loving eyes. I will not judge. I will consciously decide, consciously decide what I will participate in. I'm surrounded by love. God, my mom, dad, sister, brother, and daughter continue to carry me. Beautiful words, mm -hmm. especially in this moment where I know that has to be a tough time for her. Uh, before I spoke to my mom and before I really got into this part of it, because Nick explained on his show that the baby he's expecting, he was expecting, they were expecting together. She was pregnant first. Mm -hmm. That didn't matter to me. <laughs> but I understand why he said it. Why he said what? Which hey, piece? Why he said, why he shared that, hey, she, this young lady was pregnant before uh, the woman that lost the baby. Mm -hmm. I, under, I can understand why he said that. I just don't know if it helped as much as he did not. hoped it would. I don't think it would have helped. If 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 I'm him, mm -hmm. and you know I fuck with Nick Cannon, if I'm him, it borders the line of insensitive and selfish. Because now you're elated that you're having a kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This lady is not having another kid anytime soon. She's still going through the grief that she had a month ago. So now you cheering. Hoorah. She ain't getting a hoorah. So I just think it's kind of like in bad judgment a little bit to put... put like, it's if you're having a kid though. already, that's cool. But I wouldn't have publicly announced it. Just so I... Why, just, just why, so I go ahead, Alex. I'm not mad at the publicly announcing it part. I'm with everybody who said this is selfish. And I said this with the last... The See, last no, I, yeah. I, I literally did. said all of that. Like I'm, I'm yeah. This shit is nuts. To I understand. Me. I'm yeah. saying that with regards to the again, what somebody does with their significant others mm -hmm. is their business. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's society's realm to judge him for having a bunch of kids. I think that if he comes and sits down with each individual woman, and if they decide that this course of action is cool for them, right? Who the fuck are we to say it's not? It's motherfuckers out here that don't see their kids, don't do for their kids. Or women that don't ain't the best mothers every single day that don't have seven or eight kids. Mm -hmm. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, who the fuck are we to really pass judgment on how somebody's rearing their kids? We're not. I'm talking about the little baby that passed away, and now you're announcing that another baby is on the way, and the and the and the, and the psychological effects it has on a woman that lost her kid. That's yeah. the piece I'm talking about. Him having seven, he got fifty kids. Who the fuck are we mm -hmm. to judge him having fifty kids? See, that was always. My kind of feel for it, like as long as Nick is happy and his partners are happy and they have their own understanding, then who am I to judge? But people are judging, like women are judging. I'm I'm, with, I'm, I'm with you on how how he handled this, and it maybe not being in the best fashion. I just don't know how else he does this part. This part here, if I'm, I'm cause he's, I, again, he's, obviously I, he's going to keep I, having kids. We, well, we I heard, I, I started hearing women say, "Well, when do you stop?" Whenever he feels like. When it. yeah, y'all think women are out of line for for this thought about him? No, I agree with them. <sighs> yes and no. Okay. Um, I think that again, I, I just think that it, it, it's contingent upon what they share. I think that your values, yeah, I think they out of line. Your values, you can't place your values on me. I'm with, I'm actually, I'm you with can't you. I'm place with you your on values switch. on me, dog. Like again, you you could look at a bunch of families. Muhammad Ali got kids by multiple wives. Uh -huh. Um, Bob Marley got a bunch of kids. Like mm -hmm. yo, you can't say that, but because I wouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. That's not why I say it at all. Personally, I'm just saying I disagree with this because there's things that if you got eight kids scattered around, there's things you can't indeed do. And true, yeah, and it's not fair to the kid, and not enough money in the world can replace that part. That's if, the only. If, that, if though, but, if, and, well, now wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on, and that don't make us judgy for acknowledging that. That is true, and that's a, that's why I, I say I don't even that. feel like I'm judging him. I agree I just a thousand think percent that with that. Part, but that's, that's now if you got hold on if you have a compound and they all live there and you could do your thing, whatever. I don't even think it has to be that. Wait, like Ice, Nick Cannon run a show out of New York. Okay, I'm I'm assuming most of his baby moms live in L.A. But what the, I don't, he's I don't, running a daily talk show in New York City. I know plenty of women that wanted to have kids and 
didn't care whether a father was there or not. Maybe they have their own family situation or idea cool. of what a family situation may mm-hmm. be, and mm-hmm. maybe that's the situation that these women have with him. So I agree with that. I'm talking about from the child's perspective, who wants who, who children need their pa- both parents. I agree bro. with that. I don't care about that part. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, the woman might say, "I don't need a man here," but the child needs the father. Mm-hmm. If there, I mean, there's a lot of kids. We see what happens when there's no fathers. We do. So, and that's my that's my only yeah. thing. It's in, uh, if they scattered out like that, it is impossible to literally be there for everything. And this is where as it, you should be if you're you. an active and good father. The truth so is, I take offense to that being the father that I am. I'm not putting mm-hmm, my values mm-hmm. on him. Yeah, I bit, personally okay. okay. Well, then maybe I am, but I take offense to that being the father that I am, knowing what it takes. You you just got to be there for your kids. And the amount of money you have can't replace that part. But what if she has someone else who is a father figure esque person that is taking that role? I'm asking Ice. The man does a five week, a five day a week show in New York City. Mm -hmm. So it's already hard. He does a five day a week show in New York City. Correct. So let's say he had one kid or two kids. Uh It's already hard. Yes. Like you get what I'm saying? Like it just keeps getting harder. I don't get what you're saying. He's out of L.A. five days a week. Yes. He's across the country five days a week, 3,000 miles I, away. I assume. Because I don't know if the show's taken no, live. He, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think he does it on a daily thing. They, they, I think he does it daily. but It looks live. Cool. It looked like they shoot a Because it's a studio audience. But cool. He's across the country. So that same exact train of thought applies now. So he's not supposed to go take that job because he won't be there five days out of week? I'm not saying. I'm, no, asking, no. I'm asking a question. No, to answer your question, I'm. Yes, he still takes the job. Yes. Okay. The selfish part comes to me comes in when I know I'm already. It's going to be hard for me with one or two because I'm across the country. Now I'm going to intentionally have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But the same argument could be made that you don't need the money. You could stay here in LA and work and get as much money possibly as going to New York. So don't take that job. Stay here. No, nah, that would that would be ignorant to say. It's not. We don't know that. Yeah, that that's we not, don't know that. that's not fact based. That, we don't know that. We know that Nick Cannon has enough money that if he wanted to live in California and support and support his kids, he could. I do not know. We yes, know that Cannon. Yes, wait, hold up. I, yes, we don't know that. I mean, we do know that. I'm saying I don't know that the bag available to oh, him true, in true, New true, York true, true. is that same bag. Gotcha. This is the right. same Nick Cannon. He went through it with NBC. He, mm-hmm. did. he went through it a little bit with um, the Wilding Out well, and over, there. over there. Um, mm-hmm. They shut down his touring. He, he went low yeah, for a little mm-hmm. bit. Like yeah. Nick persevered. Yo, mm-hmm. I fuck with I fuck I with, fuck him. with Nick I fuck with So this show, for the people that can't tell, I've said it before, it was supposed to be the Guy Wendy show Wendy for the Williams network. Show. Mm-hmm. It was either supposed to be before Wendy or after Wendy or grooming him to be. And he said, he said on the show last week, yo, my mentor Steve Harvey had him up here. They're grooming Nick and have been grooming Nick since mm-hmm. he was yay yeah. high to be that dude. Mm-hmm. This check is different. <laughs> I'm not saying he can't get it over there, but he was over there. True. I'm just saying. I'm not saying no to the job. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm I'm not w- saying I'm no. no to this I'm one. just saying the same mental thing could be put that, yo, you are traveling across the country five days a week out of seven. You could stay here to be I, a better that, parent. That, that's not what I was saying. I know. That's not what you're saying. Okay. I'm saying, but that could be said following your train of thought. My, no. my thing is that it's just hard to judge without knowing what these yeah, women's is. situations is yeah. because what if they are, there's a million things that could be true. Maybe uh, without knowing any of these women, I don't know any of their backstories. I don't go on Shade Room and log in, look at their shit. Maybe she's in a relationship with someone who is not fertile mm. and wanted to have a kid. Or maybe she's got, uh, maybe she's in a, um, a, a lesbian relationship and wants to have a kid. There's a million things that could be true where there's a father figure involved. It just doesn't have to necessarily be Nick and he is acting as a sperm donor. Let me ask you a question. So without knowing the full situation, everyone's situation, I, it's hard for me to judge it. Let me ask That's you a question. Right. Actually, both of you. Forbid you and your girl break up, right? Do you stay in a relationship because your daughter needs a full time dad in the house? No, but I was, I, I could still be a no, 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 no. no let me answer you. Lo- let me, an- oh, well, you have more questions. Your answer was no. Let me ask, go ahead though. Is, was that the end of the question? That's the question I asked. Your answer was no. My answer was no. Cool. Now, I would still be a full time dad. 
without living in the household with her. And somebody could, not me, somebody could pose the argument that you need to be present in a I'm house. Not, see, I didn't say I you. would love okay. to finish. All right. Somebody could pose the question that to do this properly, you have to be living in a household so that you could be there for whatever your kid needs on a whim. I don't agree with that. I'm just saying somebody could pose that argument. And I'm telling you that you, I disagree with that argument. Cool. So that's all. So in the same way he could potentially disagree. With oh yeah, he could disagree stance. all he want. That's what that's saying. his life. I'm that's telling you my stance. So you ask, do people agree sure, sure, with sure. that? And do they? Do I agree with the selfish comment? Yes, because you, I'm not. I have one kid. When I got eight, and they all over, it's different. Mm-hmm. I can't be here. If if if, me, if I'm live in a separate household, it wouldn't one. It wouldn't be too far away from my kid. That's me. That's my decision. Mm-hmm. It would not be, but so far away. To where I can still get there. If so, if I'm if I'm if it's a phone call, if something if she's sick, if whatever the case may be, I can still get there. I'm not gonna be hours away, et cetera, et cetera. That that's my decision though. Now, if I got one here and one here and one here and one here and two here and three here, it gets a little it gets a little bit more complicated. Way, way more. Now, when I'm intentionally doing this, it gets to me to be selfish at that point. That's all I'm saying. Gotcha. Round of applause to Nick Cannon for <laughs> bringing more life into the yeah, do world. Yeah, man. They say Ben's point purpose is to be fruitful and multiply, so he's doing it. For me, it, it only gets tricky, and I'm getting off this. We're closing this. We're going to move. It's music I want to get to. I want to <laughs> talk about music. But, like, I be getting my info from women. So I've heard women say, when guys say, hey, we need to be there as the dad so our kid can have a better life, I've heard women say that we're wrong for assuming that a child can't be raised properly without a dad. And that's not what we be saying. We just be saying it's probably better with the dad. That's it. They are wrong. They are. Yeah, they're wrong. Oh. Well, when you win an argument against a woman, what did you win? <laughs> oh, you really love birds, yo. How is that? That's, That's fucking from a therapist. <laughs> but I'll give it to you. Why fine. You love birds. Actually, no, that came from a senior oh citizen uh, at the gas station that heard me on the phone going ham on his <laughs> I knew I was why I told you. <laughs> and he's like, yo, I'm going to give you something my dad gave me. And he said that. I was like, damn. All right. <laughs> um, listen, music. I'm all for babies because y'all niggas, it's fine. You done with kids? I'm snipped. Oh shit! <laughs> the fuck? If I ain't done with kids, we getting paid. I think I'm done too, yo. I think I'm done. Anyway, uh, music. Where did we start with Benny the Butcher, please, J Cole? Please start with that record because they fucked my mentions up for not talking about this record on my Twitter when he dropped. So please, Parks, take it away. Great record. <laughs> I don't know what to like. Why did they kill you? I'm I'm, I'm confused. Because Babyface Ray dropped, and I was like, oh shit, a new Babyface Ray album. Nah, I just fucked that. J. Cole and Benny dropped. I was like, okay. First of all, stupid ass me is in my phone, and I think it's me in my music section looking for a babyface record, but I'm in the iTunes store typing in babyface. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing that popped up Babyface. The babyface. <laughs> and no, no, and the second and third but, and fourth, too. But Ten, right underneath it. Love. And right underneath it, right? I'm just telling you my brain, guy mm-hmm. brain. Right underneath it was a gentleman by the name of Babyface Ray. Okay. I have never heard of Babyface fucking Ray. Oh, so you thought there was an actual Babyface record that came out? I was in my phone trying to get my, my Babyface on. <laughs> oh, but, oh, shit. <laughs> but when I was in the iTunes store and seen that somebody had the fucking gall <laughs> and the audacity <laughs> to say, fuck Babyface. <laughs> I'm Babyface Ray. I'm Babyface Ray. <laughs> I said, nah, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to listen. Because who the fuck are you? Mm. Like, Casanova did that, and now there was no more Gerald Levert Casanova. I'm old. <laughs> like, these kids have no respect for the old shit. Oh, so I man. go play it, and holy shit, why didn't anybody tell me about Babyface Red? I, I have. I've before. actually played sleepers. I know. Of you, you did. All the girls I know that like the thug <laughs> shit. They did. Like, people said, Joe, I play Babyface Ray all the time. And I said, why the fuck am I supposed to know (laughs) that this is Babyface Ray, yo? But I hit play. Yo. 
How can I spend so much time in Detroit and not and not? Yeah, that's like, what I didn't get. How can Royce not tell me what was going on in Detroit, yo? Uh oh. Yo, this guy's nice, yo. Sounds this guy's sick. Sounds this guy's sick. sick. And I thought that it was just this. Mm-mm. I didn't even know his album came out. I'm not hip to it. Then I played some more. Then I played some more. <laughs> and I said, yo, he kind of is giving me ESTG vibes. And then I said, oh, shit. This guy's got mad songs with ESTG. <laughs> and then I played dumb shit. And when he get off this introspective shit, <laughs> it's up for you niggas. Baby <laughs> it's face, you niggas. it's up for you niggas. This guy's all right, yo. This guy's all right. I I'm mad. I'm mad. I, I'm yeah, mad. Late. Late. It's all. It's late. I'm, it's I'm cool. so mad. No, he's ill. It's it's that whole Detroit rap scene, bro. They got a bunch of killers over there, like the young niggas I'm talking about. Well, they're not even that young, but it don't matter to me. Yeah. See, that matters to the labels. Yeah. yeah. That don't matter to me. I don't care how old you are when you make this. Old or young, yeah, don't matter. This is fire, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm running around calling people. Like when you hear good shit, you spread the word. I say, yo, babyface, hey, babyface. Yo, this album just dropped. Hey, Here they go. You, Here they go. Nah, nah, get unfuckable with a bull deluxe. Yup. <laughs> that's the that's the record wait, I played wait, the football uh, off of. Uh, unfuckable. Wait, excuse me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, unfuckable. Wait, he named some shit unfuckable. <laughs> <laughs> See, already the little things get me on, niggas. Yo, wait. You know how bold you gotta yeah, be to say unfuckable. Mm-hmm. Deluxe. <laughs> so I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fire too. Yeah, he's unfuckable. <laughs> nah, he is. He's unfuckable. And all the niggas that I fucking think be running around shooting niggas up. He shoot them too. <laughs> he with them. They fuck with this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> know what that tells me? Yeah. He unfuckable. Yeah. He's unfuckable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all better not fuck with him. <laughs> Go ahead, y'all fuck with Babyface Ray. So shout out to him, man. I'm so I'm so sorry I'm late and I'm mad at the fans hey. for not telling me sooner. Detroit, what up? Listen, you hit look, see, I don't get mad trick, at Trick trick somebody, man. Somebody. This is bad. <laughs> I don't get mad at late. You See, here now. That's all that matters to me. Yo, no, I'm joking I, about late because for me, I love late because I get to go back. Yeah, I get to go back I down the road and pick up sure. that shit you put out in 2014. That's old to niggas. You ain't even played it in a while. Mm-hmm. I'm playing it every day in the morning. Yep. I just heard this. It's new to me. So that did feel good, yo. My snow yeah. in weekend when I got into the music and stopped fucking. <laughs> Doing whatever I was doing in the house. It was a, it was a rough weekend in the house. <laughs> Why is that? What? That you can't leave the house? Why is it a rough, rough weekend in the house? Like, niggas is alive. <laughs> niggas is doing well for themselves. Niggas is attractive. Niggas got some women they could call for comfort if need be. But we wouldn't because we're men, man. <laughs> <laughs> Strong independent man. Come on. There you go. We I'm just saying, we got, <laughs> go strong we got, we got a lot of good shit going on, man. Nah, Why we announce because it's snowing itch. and it's fucked up? You start getting the itch. It's just the. the it's called horny. No, you it's because you no. don't even necessarily want box. You just be wanting to go outside and get into some shit, or you yeah. want somebody to come over. Oh, like we lay friends. Up. Or like yeah. what we be doing. We just go out to chill and just. Yeah. You just want people somebody watch. to come lay up. Sometimes you just want people to watch. True. I don't want to talk to nobody when I'm out. I just want to watch y'all. I don't want to have no conversation. Leave me alone. I just want to get out and be around some people. I had a dinner meeting. Socially distant. It was snowing real bad on Friday. I, I had a dinner meeting with somebody that worked at Margella and some other shit trying to get me to do some fashion type shit and just <laughs> get into fashion, right? And I'm not fashion man. I'm comfort man. I explained that to him. It's a nice sweater, though. But, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, And the pants, bitch. And, and, and the sneakers and, and the dollar. Yeah. It, pants blended with the, the couch. Don't do that. I didn't say two words. But no, li- the, the dollar too, though. The but dollar. listen, I don't have a dollar. Put some I O U. What do I owe? You just I'll said. You just said. I know, no, no. I thought, but two dollar, three dollar. Cash have the cup, nigga. <laughs> 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 but listen, as I was out with a guy that I never met, yo, don't do that, Corey. You was in DC. <laughs> While I was out with a guy that I never met, crazy. I'm learning about him, and I got questions about him, and it, it just felt good to fucking talk to somebody that was cool that you never met yeah. over a glass or something and, and go about your business. Was this this a guy from uh, your, your Instagram? DM? No. Oh, okay. No, but I have some more of those if you want me to read them to you. <laughs> no, 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 too good, late. No, no, too late. You brought it up. Oh. You brought it up. Here we go. Number one. Yo, you probably just need some head. <laughs> Then he said, when it was snowing, 
You need a real nigga to hold you. <laughs> you know what's him? That, look, I ain't talking to me this year. You gonna let this nigga talk to me like this, yo? Yes, nigga, he can talk to how we want. You but, gonna let him. You kept it in your DM. Nah, look at this other nigga. Let I me get you. Let me, get, all right, forget it. But he it. said, ooh, with a demon emoji. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me give you some head, Joe. I ain't think about it, but I thought the offer was sweet. <laughs> I hate this nigga, yo. All right, it's a considerate nigga, Marcus, or whoever he is. Like, <laughs> hey, if I was in the guy head, I might have sent him back a little something. Like, hands or no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only thing these bitches can take from me is notes. <laughs> Come on, let's move on. <laughs> what happened, guys? What happened, guys? Hey, take it away. <laughs> Please, I mean, you know. It's cool. Fun. You talking yeah. about the... the Benny J. Yeah, Cole. go ahead. Yeah, come on. You this your bag. That's Griselda. a cool record. It's cool. That's it? That's, That's it. it. Nah, you got to nah, say nah, more than nah, that. Nah, they're going to tear your ass up. up. No, they're going to tear us up. No, oh, they're not going to tear me up. They know I didn't click play. <laughs> Wait, you want to hear something? Yeah, I want to hear a little lying. bit. Yeah. I want to hear a little bit. It's solid. You ain't listening to it? No. You don't want to hear Benny the Butcher and J. Cole? I, if I hear it somewhere, but I'm not rushing to go click play on Benny the Butcher and Jake Cole. Shout out to Benny the Butcher, friend That's of the show. That's not a diss. That's ice. No. I, <laughs> Alchemist on the beat. Hey, 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 all right. All right. Yeah, figure. Get a little bit. Get a little sauce. See what Benny is up to. Oh, turn it off. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn it off. Turn it off. Never mind. Cole came in though. <laughs> no, he came in. Oh, uh, he came in. He came in. Mm. Oh man, see, this is where it's tough to do a pod, yo. <laughs> Not your head, yeah, hey. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> nah, thought you was gonna get me out there. Nah, Go ahead. yo. <laughs> do I do this? Yes. Has Cole smoked him? What'd you say? Do you think Cole smoked him? I do. Well, I think so too. I just saved myself, and I like Benny. I didn't Y'all know it. I fuck with Benny, but <laughs> I, yeah, only, I only heard the first. I line think Benny from would Cole. be happy to, if you get a feature like Joe, J Cole. You want him to smoke you on the record? No, you don't. Shit, you, are no? you got Shit. Benny fucked up. What? You can have real rappers fucked up. But it's his record. He could always re-record the verse. Fuck, but he didn't. Nigga, he that's he what didn't. he put out. Which is dope, and that that's might, dope. Yeah, not not if you alone. And it might be dope. When one of the best rappers in the world hops on the track. Mm-hmm. And it's dope. Until he comes on. <laughs> now, how does it sound? <laughs> I would, if I was a rapper, it's I like you take playing, his head off. Yeah, it's like you playing ball and you're like, yo, I lost the championship, but I lost now, the mic. Now, no, this, is us talk, this is us just talking shit because, like you said, it's Benny. You get cold, it don't matter. You have right. it. You get a video. I you, think, I, see, you to happy. me, I think that's new 2022 rapper shit. Not saying. Not even putting it on Benny. I think late 90, early 2000s rappers, I don't give a fuck who you are. You jump on this record, I'm trying to kill you. Jada and them wasn't doing that. No, I think that's just in the person. I, I don't think that's in the times. I think Not necessarily diss you, but I want to have the hardest verse on this shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what you sent over. I will rewrite my verse if I have to. See, I think it's corny yeah, my, though when my you rewrite name, your shit. Send many niggas to the rewriting, the rewriting book, boy. <laughs> check, check it out. I'm done, and I'm laying now. Now you sit there and listen yeah, and hear it for the next how many hours until you're done. Damn, Joe did that up there. But listen, and that's why I didn't Ooh, really want to hear it. Huh? Just made me think of a verse you did with somebody. Nigga, we went to sleep. He was still up rapping. Woke up the next morning. He was like, "All right." <laughs> I said, "I see what you're doing now, nigga." <laughs> And that was my thing. I'm laying and I'm not changing. Yo, we ain't even leave. Niggas went to sleep. When I get up and lay the verse, I'm confident that anybody could hop back in. But back to this. Yeah. I didn't want to hear this from J. Cole because I'm going. I'm listening with rapper ears and rapper brain. I love Benny. I'm glad that he got this look and they together and they rocking. But you can't play with J. Cole like this. You can't do that. I'm surprised he didn't do a third verse, Benny. I'm not. Or that. I'm no, not. I ain't. I'm, I am not. I would have came surprised. back in with the fucking. Today you're not doing a third verse. You don't need a That's third true. verse. They're gonna this, say the record too long. This if this you, is not a radio record anyway. I don't matter. They're gonna say J Cole is on. It's a radio record. This is not a radio record. No, if J Cole is on it, it's a radio record. Meaning it will be played on radio. Maybe not heavy or me- medium rotation, but you'll hear this in mix show somewhere, somewhere. 
It's a playlist record, man. It's not a radio. Or 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 that. But that's it. That's he had, he had when you get a feature like J. Cole who appeals to whatever it is. Everybody. You're hoping that it's played on all mediums. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh, go ahead. If I hear this beat as a rapper and you tell me Benny and Cole are getting on this beat, Cole is coming out the victor before I hear a word. Before I hear a word. This beat is set up for J. Cole to give you all of the, I didn't, I didn't hear this, <laughs> to just flow his little heart out, and the guy's good with words. So Benny's just kind of normal, comfortable pocket flow. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that not as an insult. Every rapper has one. J. Cole has one too. Mm-hmm. But when you stay there for your verse, and then a magician comes in with something that you didn't necessarily hear there, it's like, oh, okay. It just creates a little bit of separation. Different how Kobe get the fade away off than how some of these other niggas might have got the fade away off. That little footwork, whatever he did, oh, shit. That, that took some practice. Mm-hmm. You could listen to Cole and hear that, you hear why niggas don't call him. He put his 10,000 hours in. You can hear it. Yeah, you can hear Yo, it. can I, I get- 100,000 hours. Can I get some note of ledge real quick? Oh, man. Real fast, real fast. I tried it's going to be quick. I tried to quick. skip it on my Benny take. It's gonna be. I cool. love Benny. Not saying I got nothing to do with Benny. Just give me a little bit. <laughs> Just ain't really on the ledge. Oh, it's a little, little medium ledge. Yeah, a little medium. It's like first, medium first floor. Uh, yeah, balcony. yeah, yeah. It's the plank. Right yeah. on there. Egg up. Wait, that's, that's, that's too much ledge. That's too All much right. ledge. It's too much ledge. Oh. Hey man, we gotta we gotta stop. Everybody. J Cole's the best rapper alive. Period. Put a, put a period after it. Enough. I know we hold Kendrick high. Kendrick, you've been going. It's and, funny, and, my man and, just texted me. And in your absence, this nigga has, has passed you. And somebody has to say it. And I know the Super Bowl's coming up. I know the halftime show's coming up. I've been hearing some things, Kendricky. Fam, Cole ain't took off. So you, you have why, to catch back up. Why do we have to do that in like our profession, yo? What like we have to compare, put, put people against yeah. each other. Well, it's not. It's because we have that hierarchy. But we doing that? that. You doing that, Ice? This is your take. Even after Cole came out and said, "Those are my brothers. It's no competition. We're peers." Blah 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, that, that was, nice. that was that, a right? cool answer. Cole also said, "I'm trying to be the greatest rapper ever before it's over." So your list is now Cole one. Cole's one. Who's two? I don't only matter. be caring about. It don't one, matter. To be honest with you, you said what? I only be caring about one Got when it. I do those lists. Cole is one. I don't think there's a bunch of people out there that would. I don't think it's a hot. No, that's why I said. I, I, yeah, well, I, I told y'all I it's think. not ledge ledge. It's it's little first floor ledge. <laughs> but it had to be said. Low, low, low fire. Keep the food hot on it. It's done. But just let it sit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a simmer. Yeah, it's, it's a simmer. simmer. It's not. I hot. do not think that J Cole is the best rapper in the world, but he's on the short list. Yeah, it's Cole. Cool. <laughs> what you gotta say? Go ahead. I don't like Ice's reasoning. That because Kendrick's been quiet, it's Cole. Benny well, Benny's the best rapper on the song until Cole comes on. Okay. That same thing exists for all rappers, maybe Sans, Hove, and maybe whoever. But Hove could get caught in a bad day too. Scarface really well, go listen to Guess Who's Bizak again. Like, Jay is Jay, so he did what he had to do. But other things can make your verse a standout, like voice, one line. Mm-hmm. Whatever you did on Stay Scheming, if you were in the studio as a rapper trying to participate, you was listening to Drake whole verse, and your heart was cool until he said, you wasn't with me shooting in the... Oh, the end. Nothing you could do as a rapper there. That's just perfect structure, and mm-hmm. it's... I think that nigga flow, how he came on, all that shit was... No, but just the stanza of call me money, da, 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 da. bitch, you wasn't oh! the whole club now, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. whole club now. Yeah. Ross heard that shit. Yeah, let me go at a oh! yeah, take like the that beat was, out right that there. Was, that take was perfect. Right I think that that could exist for Cole. And you said it. You know, Kendrick is coming. Super Bowl, the performance. It's not just Kendrick. Now I'm up there with history with the Snoop, Titans. yeah, mm-hmm. Dre. No, not the yeah. Titans. My brothers. Mm-hmm. I come from this camp. 
of greatness. They was right in 91. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they was right in... 97. They was right in fucking... They've just been right. Mm-hmm. 52, 03. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they've been right, and I'm here now. I think it's going to look different. It's going to sound different, and I think Kendrick is quiet because it's his job to come back different. Cra- crazy, yeah. And mm-hmm. I think he's heard all the Cole shit. He know what Cole is doing. Cole been shaking what ass I'm, out here. And that's, that, and that's kind of my point, though. When, when it was before... You had people leaning either way. You know, there even back then there was yo, Kendrick, it was cold. There was a conversation. Kendrick Cole Drake. We know that. That was the convo. But that convo is gonna be always exist like uh, I, Biggie, I, Jay-Z, and Nas. C- true. I agree. Well, I, I don't agree with that conversation anyway. But well, Biggie, Jay-Z I, I agree Nas? with the three that there's three. I don't, that's but you wasn't old enough or outside enough to go through that. Then how old was you when that line came out? Of uh, Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas. Well, yeah, was that? That's volume one. That's volume one. It's 97. 97. 97. Volume one is 97. 97. How old was you 97? 13. And who would you have had it in 97? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying... I'm saying Hove has passed all of that and became number one. Oh, oh yes. Okay. And that's kind of what I'm saying... About Cole. About Cole. Is for other reasons... I don't think he's pulled away like that. Damn. I'm not mad at anybody right that says he's he did. number one. I don't see how... And that's, that's, really and that's what I'm... I'm not saying he can't get passed again, but... but but music is musical chairs. It is. Yes. It is. I'm not saying this is permanent. It's over. He's number one. But okay, if I, I if I reach number got one it. and I keep producing at number one, niggas, y'all got to catch up at that point. He's in a different, We're not equal. He's in a different bag from even his great bag. And it's been that way for a little while. Couple years. Yeah. Might have been a few years ago where the, the little feature verse run was yeah, going yeah, before yeah. he was coming. We didn't know. And Ice was like, yo, <laughs> this guy's going crazy. It's been years nonstop now of that. Yes. It's up a level for even... Him. And I, I hate that. I, like, I get a bad rap on this part. They say we hate Nas. They say we hate Cole. There's a few people they say we hate. Maybe I understand why, and I'll try to be better with that. The things I say don't come from hate. It just come from observation and experience and just sharing my own brain. But Cole is different. He I just feel like I just feel like it's a slight to him when you keep saying the nigga who hasn't, not the nigga, but the rapper who hasn't been here in years, he dropped that one verse from Smoking on Your Top 5 tonight. Uh-huh. And everybody jumped right back out. Yeah, Kendrick's the best. Like, fam, compare that to everything I've done over the last four or five years. You've got no argument for me. Are you crazy? That don't match up to this. Look at my, look at, I have an, I'm just, not just a track record. There alone. You, I've passed you. Cole can say what he wants. He can give you the PC media correct answer that those are my brothers. There's no competition. Let me I give know. you a little pushback. And you know this ain't my bag. I'm going to give him some pushback too. Okay. But just because I ain't come out, that mean you surpassed me? If I kept going, and, and Kendrick music, still has a better might. discography though. And that's what I was going to uh, resist with. You could be busting ass for five years, six, seven years while I'm quiet. If I'm quiet and the last two, three joints I did was that. Michael was, Jordan took a layoff. Like, like Akeem and them got some his, rings. His last album but it, was still Kendrick's last album, yo. I'm not there. here to, to unpack love, the greats. Yeah, we're not. But I'm just saying, wow. right now, J Cole is the best rapper. Not mad at that. I'm yeah. not I'm mad at that at all. I'm not. That's it. And, and a lot of and a lot of people won't give him that because they're still holding him up to someone who, he, he, to me, he's passed. But right you get now. what I'm saying though. Like with my, the Michael Jordan analogy, is like Jordan took a layoff. All right, Akeem, go ahead and get your two rings. I'll be back. Okay, so in that two rings. Band, I, Michael, I, I, I came to the best. Ron didn't surpass Michael Jordan, though. He was just the, but there wasn't, the best in the NBA at that time. He didn't Akeem, surpass Akeem Michael Olajuwon Jordan. Akeem Olajuwon wasn't, prior to him leaving, mentioned right there in the conversation as which one of these are the best. That's where it's different. Prior to Cole, prior to Kendrick taking his sabbatical, it was still mentioned Kendrick and Cole, Kendrick and Cole, Kendrick and Cole, Kendrick and Cole. Now, one leave, and I keep performing, keep producing at a high level all of this. Every al- album's been great. Everything's been great. Features been great. I'm on a tear. He's on a tear. The reason that they get to skate uh, Cole, Drake, and Kendrick in a way that Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas did not, to me anyway, Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas were kind of all street-oriented New York. Mm-hmm. Like, they kind of gave you the same thing. Nas, Queens. Content mm-hmm. was very similar. Big, mm-hmm. bro- yeah. Mm-hmm. If, not so much with these three now. So they, the can, stars. they could always right. escape, and they are different. They're so different that they don't even have to, them playing into the whole who's better between us is just them playing into it. Mm-hmm. They're so different that we don't ever have to be in each other lanes at all. When we get there, it's by choice or because mm-hmm. one of us is fucking the same girl, but. Mm-hmm. Which is why, and even that, which is why I believe 
at times when they were on the same record, you know, I always go back to the American Dream record that Jeezy had featured Kendrick and Cole. When the title came out, everybody was like, finally, we get these two going at it on the record. We get to settle this debate once and for all. Mm-hmm. And Cole kicked ass on that record. And Kendrick, traveling man, sung his way out of there. To me, that said something. <laughs> to me, that says something. Mm-hmm. That say, eh, I might not really want to give you all that. I don't want it to be a debate. I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to do it on this Ken- record. Kendrick did run from the smoke on that record, in my opinion. He was supposed to teach. He was supposed to. He was supposed to teach Jermaine something. He did not. I'm, nope. getting, I'm getting off of this because nope. he might try to teach me something. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm cool. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Um, Cam Freestyle Funk Flex. I saw it. I saw it. Did you listen to it? I, I did. I did. I did. And I'm Cam is in one in my all time top rappers ever list. Oh, um, sorry. no, I'm not doing that. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, when, when you first, start with praise, I think that we end in when, when, when I when I first saw the free like when I first saw the clip go out, I was like, yes, finally, this is one I wanted to sit down. I got like four rappers I want to sit down on flex. Yeah, I mm-hmm. wanted her in the back Balls. with the Dior had to sit down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, <laughs> you were saying? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, this ain't give me what I wanted from Cam. And I love the nigga in the back smoking a blunt while you're rapping. <laughs> the little I, things for me. Look, that's yeah, all. Yeah, nah, you know, Cam will give you all like this, the extra this, shit. Yeah. yeah, the extra shit. This is not Cam on the basement rapping, counting money with just a classic verse. This ain't that. I felt underwhelmed for him to be one of the ones I couldn't wait to sit down with Flex. I didn't hate it, yo. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I, I don't I, expect I much from Cam it. at this stage of his career as far as like a freestyle. You know what I'm saying? In 98, I might feel like very underwhelmed. In 2003, I might feel very underwhelmed. In 2022, I was entertained, man. It was cool. I feel like it's Cam, though. And he know what it means <laughs> sitting there. In hip-hop, you know, things can't just be cool. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I say I it's felt underwhelmed. It's either super hot or trash. I, have trash. Yeah, I, yeah. Got a high, I got a high bar for Cam. Like I said, this is one of my favorite rappers. So, and I know what he meant to the See, freestyle yo, fans, game. Fans are funny with that. Like, you have a high bar for Cam. Right. Parks brought up Cam is in year 20-whatever of his career. Your bar is still as high as when it was horse and carriage and oh boy. Yeah, I don't think that's fair to Cam. Or Dipset. No, no, but if you... like, yeah, I don't yo, think that's fair no, either. We no, got to let no, 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 people no. age a little bit. Even, it's not like no, he went, no, like he no, went no, up hold there. Hold up. Hold up. No, uh, no, no. Went, because up. I also want to say, he went up there and Flex tried to intro and he said, nah, fuck that shit. Cut <laughs> yeah, out yeah like I'm down for 10 I'm minutes straight. I give a lot of respect for him just... I'm thinking the even that thing. when you was come up here and say, nah, crazy? I ain't here for that. Go Google that. Let's get it. You about to smoke this shit. Cam's last album, um, Purple Haze 2, uh-huh. was a great fucking Cam album. There's no problem. So he got it. He can do that. I'm just, from what Cam has always given me as a huge Cam fan, mm-hmm. this is the only person that I complained about when I got blocked on Twitter. <laughs> I'm Cam, like, yo, Cam nah. Blocked you? Yeah, Cam blocked me. But he did it That's out of solidarity with the yeah. brothers. But I was just like, yo, nah, y'all gotta get him to unblock me. Like, not him. So, and he did. South to Cam. But I was underwhelmed because I expect a lot from Cam. See, I didn't have that much expectations. Like, I know he Cam, still could do Cam, it. He just did it on the album. Yeah, but even when he did it on the album, it wasn't necessarily like a like or when someone sits down to flex, you want like crazy punchlines and depends on who they are. For the most part, that's what you want. Who who has sat down there that we have praised? He's, that was you know what this did. You know what he did here. He sat down. This is a, this is a song that could have been on his next album that he's, if he's working on a project. Most of these most guys, I know, have been I know that a song. But I'm talking about some write this <laughs> Not Joe. specifically for coming up the flex. Joe. I know that I've talked to a lot of these dudes. Mm-hmm. It still could have been a song. Uh-huh. I could have pulled from this verse and that verse. I took my hardest bars, yeah. put them together, but I presented this solely because I knew I was coming to flex. This just falls short for what I expect Cam to do. Uh, what I'll say is this. It's cool. It just wasn't our Cam our, our good friend me. Sue Surf is running something called March Madness. Midnight Madness. I mean my bad. March Mad Midnight Madness mm-hmm. where all money is on the wood, winner take all all battle rappers coming now. We're gonna see what's what. This ain't that smack shit, even though it might be smack related. Mm. Um, but it ain't that. It's a different thing. I'd love to see that for like the rappers. Just show up and rap? 
like a mar- midnight madness. Little Logan bracket, might show like up. Bracket. Everybody, everybody, don't do that. everybody up. throw you, ten you, grand you, in them. Yeah, they're not gonna yeah, do that. Throw ten, twenty grand. Not gonna bring do your it. best verse. Nope. And let's do that. Bring whatever verse you was about to spit at Flex to here. Mm-mm. Who votes? How many bars? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. I would like. I, I, it's not flesh. I, like I just concept, would like. I would just would like to see that. You won't. Because to Ice's point, like I hear what he's saying. Cam has always been super nice to a bunch of people, mm-hmm. and I'm with you that I don't think he should be held in that same regard as he ages. I don't think it's fair. Um, and that was my thing. It's like, all right, you up here, and you freestyle, but he's Cam's promoting shit. Of course, he's promoting he's shit. Always, Cam yeah. is a walking promotion. promoting shit. So it's like that answered my question as to why he's here. I didn't know if we, an album was coming. He's promoting some shit. I'm sure Flex has been asking him to come up there for of a long course, time. Of course, of course. And it's Cam. It's Dipset. It's Harlem Week. Yeah. It's Harlem Week. <laughs> so I'm not. It's I'm Harlem not. Week. I'm not gonna get on. I liked it. Y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I, it's not something I'm gonna go back to. It's, it wasn't any moments where I was like, "Yo, I gotta rewind and catch that bar again." But, that's but my Cam point. has not been that rapper for me for 20 years. Cam, it's been a long what, time. When's the last time there? you saw Cam sit down and freestyle somewhere? Damn near 20 years ago too. Like so. When he pop out, the dude that you know when he pop out, he give you one. Yeah, I'm expecting one. I don't care if it's been 20 years. It's just that that's kind of what when I when I first saw it, I was like, "Yo, let's go." Then I watched it. I was like, "All right, that was cool. You still got it. You can rap, but you didn't give me the cam that I knew that will come up here and do some. Even the way you talking, flex. I know you've been trying to get me here. Like you, you amping me up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, now nah, I want to talk about none of that, man. Cut the beat on, yo, yo, tack. Cut the beat on. All of that is like, oh yeah, we can already get the cam that I've been waiting for. Because I see all the computers putin jokes and all of that. Mm-hmm. And that was only two or three songs he used that type of flow with the little elementary yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. But people hang on to that. So I see all of that. I'm like, he about to shut y'all up. All right, so you would have liked to see... I want him to smoke this shit. He rapped for 10 minutes. It's not about the <laughs> time slipping limit. Without or fam. stumbling or anything. Like, I, no punches. I, like, you can't... I, I, fam, I, they've done that. All I'm, right. All right. I, all I'm right. Saying, I feel what he's saying. I feel what he's saying. I do feel what you're saying, but... I guess I just had lower expectations going into it. That's See, I have very high f- yeah. for my And favorites. I'm a huge Cam fan. I have very high for my favorites. But I didn't sit there. I wasn't like, ooh, Cam's about to come up here and fucking be in the uh, Royce and Black Dog conversation. No, I, I no, not expect no. That I would I would... Don't I didn't expect, expect him, him to be in the uh, Tyler conversation either. All right, you know, check I'm the it two out. opposite ends of dope check flex it out. freestyles. Check it out. If you see a video tomorrow and Flex is sitting down with Jada Kiss to freestyle, uh-huh. you're expecting something from that off the rip. I am. But Jada Kiss has maintained a level of like being the punchline uh, technical expert that Cam has long been if away from. If I see from. Fab sit down with Flex tomorrow, Without hearing a bar to beat anything, I'm expecting something fab level. Mm-hmm. I don't care how long you can rap without. I, I'm expect there's an expectation there. Uh huh. Like I said, I got a list of rappers I want to see sit up here. Mm-hmm. I tell every time I talk to Joel, go to Flex, please. Joel, I would like to please. See I'm begging you, go yeah. to Flex. Joel's in love, man. I know. I know. He, <laughs> you know how hard it is to leave the bed with the woman that you love. He is in love, love, love. And love. go be a killer. Every t- I text him all the Yo, yo, yo. You ready to do flex yet? Yeah. Stop playing with me. Freddie Gibbs. Go sit. Like, it's certain rappers that I know if I see them sitting there, I'm what I'm going to get. I want to hear all of them because everybody's different. Like, I love Tyler when he did it. He trolled. Yeah. But that's uh, expected to me. But it was fire to me. And, and if, it was I, fire. If, I, if I just see him sit down with it next to Flex, I know some I'm, not going, I'm not going into that thinking I'm going to enjoy it as much as I did. There's a few people that, because for me, it ain't but about seven of you niggas that I get excited for when y'all sit down on this freestyle shit. The rest of y'all, y'all most of y'all are horrible. Facts, though. To me. Facts, though. <laughs> to me, most of y'all are absolute <laughs> garbage when it comes to this, not music. Not music. I'm talking about sitting down and freestyling. Your words, up. wordplay. Yeah. yeah, your words. What they and, mean. What you're saying here. And I'm gonna tell you something else. And I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying this, but I just got in trouble saying everybody's trash. But go ahead. Yeah, I'm getting ready to tell you <laughs> who's trash. Them videos. Them videos y'all see. Those be multiple, multiple, multiple takes. If y'all don't know that out there. What are you talking about? The flex freestyle? Yes. yes. You can tell. Well, no, a lot of the average true. person cannot tell. The trained eye can tell. And I know that because the first time I took my brother up there and he rapped, when we were done, one of the producers was like, yo, Ars did that shit in one take. I'm like, yeah. Yo, you know how many people come up here and, oh no, I'll run it back. I fucked up. 
Yo, bring it back. Yo, bring it back. Like, we sit here for hours with some of these rappers. Mm-hmm. I'm like... I hate yeah. to be the pair of bad news, but the ciphers be the oh, same yeah, shit. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> cipher, same shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a legend, yo. Yeah, you want to take your joints? <laughs> yeah. On, on my flex freestyle, I'm not talking about me. I went in there, gave him something, slipped up toward the end, and you keep picking back up. Nah, don't start this over. Don't cam that. Why? Yeah, relax. Yeah. You just get back. Yeah, I remember into you it. fucking up and it being out too. I remember that being on there. Huh? You stumbled and yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Leave, leave the stumble. Yeah, I think it's fly when you pick it back up because it shows. It shows something. Mm-hmm. So I, I enjoy that. Uh, but my thing is, I'm just saying that because like we did this before Flex Freestyle was Flex Freestyle. Mm-hmm. True. Nobody, he was trying to build the platform. There's only a couple people that right. did it. Yeah. yeah, I think I might have been the seventh dude or some shit like that. By the time Surf started going and, and it was, the rappers caught on and was like, oh, we can rap there. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. right, watch this. By the time Royce got there, this was a platform yeah, and Royce went up there to let y'all know, nobody, nobody in the world's fucking with me. Yeah. I was going up there just to get my, I was like, oh, no, nah, I might need to come back to this. Same with the Cyphers. Mm-hmm. We was early. Well, maybe kissing them was the real early, but when 2010, 11 came, we was a little early. No, you were early. You were so now it's first like two or three years. No, you talking yeah. about which the ciphers? The ciphers. Which one? You, I did it a bunch of times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. His first, first one. Was my one, first, first one. Within the first. Early. It was first the first one. Was two or three years. Years. Yeah. But, I, but I'm just like saying we had to set the bar. We had to set the bar, and then we had to wait for evolution for the new rappers to say, "Hey, we don't do that." Anymore. Yeah, we're not doing yeah. the break beats. Yeah, big we, production set. It yeah. used to just mm-hmm. be like some rooftop shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we coming in here, uh, swaggy, saucy, flowy, jewelry, and let the label do the rest. But remember, yo, we was in our at the compound, yo. I think this might have been the the debut of Big Sean for me when he when they did the good good music one. They all the had good music song, free, yeah. uh, cipher. Yeah. yeah, and he went crazy, and then they had another click. It was the TDE, and it was, yo, fam. Yeah. Anything where thing. rappers get to get in that bag, uh, the basement, like, we don't have enough of those. I fuck with we, all those I-9-5. I about said, we got I-9-5, 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 I-9-5 freestyle. Got, um, LA Leakers. LA Leakers, that's all. LA Leakers. They're probably the best to me right now. Uh, big boys sometimes that have somebody get into some shit. But even L.A. leakers, yo. Yeah, Sway, Sway has um, more up and... Sway and um, um, K. Slay have more up-and-coming rappers doing f- fly freestyle still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's true. It's awesome. Speaking of uh, up-and-coming rappers and freestyles, that Yo Gotti challenge is taking off. I want to applaud him again. Genius. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the Genius. One. I saw it. Genius. Oh, the... Uh, the bars, you can get a record. You, put, you yeah, can get on the record. Room, he got niggas in jail doing it. He uh, got niggas dope. in the army, really? military doing it. Up and coming rappers, uh, DiBiase did it. Oh, I didn't see DBs. Okay, I think DiBiase did it. Somebody I know did. I might be fucking it up. Shout out to DiBiase. Uh, but somebody I know from Jerry, like people are doing it. So I just want to applaud a great idea and executing it. That's because, yeah, that's fire. Because wow. Um, is there any? Oh, we want to send our well wishes and love to our uh, DJ Mustard. I just saw that. You don't have to go to it. He was in a horrible accident with a drunk driver. Escalade smashed up against the wall, it's all fucked up, brand new. Had a bike in the trunk, left with just minor bruises. God is good. Mm-hmm. And continued prayers for K Slay, by the way. I was, Pap was just on Breakfast Club and said he was still fighting, so. Yeah, continued we, prayers. Yeah, we, we hope K Slay is all right. We love you. We love you, man. Be strong, please. Uh, LMA. LMA's back. Yo. Nah, I ain't gonna do it, man. But the girls are back. <laughs> Go back up, please. <laughs> Um, single or album? Single. single. Don't fuck me up. Which means DFMU. album is coming. It came on. Oh no, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Came it's on. It's hard. See, this is why I had to throw that Amber Marks on because it was R and B that came out over the weekend that I have you crying in the fetal position in the bed. That's such a scary part when, like, she realizing that she like you and you do have the power to fuck her up, but she's at your mercy asking you not to. Yeah. Chill, ish. Don't jump in. I got it. <laughs> Be gentle with me. That's what they say. Huh? Be gentle with me. That was yeah. A- yeah. Don't worry. I know we can't expound. <laughs> then you try to protect them. Like, yo, shorty, you don't want none of this, man. And then this, they don't this. like the protection. This, 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 this will fuck your whole so world what up. You want. Then they chase you so they can get fucked up. So they can up. get it. And then be mad at you because you fucked up. And then if they find out you got good dick, they'll just fucking poke at you to get you angry so you can have great makeup sex. Like, <laughs> women are fucking evil. <laughs> evil. 
Yo, keep playing. I'm gonna learn you this week. Okay, daddy. <laughs> gonna do shit. You, you is. Gonna do shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Shut up. You do shit. Oh, women are great, yo. Shout out to LMA. A lot of R&B came out. A lot of R&B came out. I didn't really leave uh, Amber Marks, Pink, uh, Pink Moon, Pink Sweats. Crazy. Quick little project. Not enough drums for me, but I still loved it all. <laughs> I loved it all. Shout out to uh, Pink Sweats. A lot of music. A lot of music. What else? Let me just look here. Anything? Um, well, in, in more in my realm, Doughboy put out a project. I fuck with Doughboy. See? Okay, see, no, no, yo, no, you starting, to, you starting to make, knowing, yo, because you are R and B dude. I didn't think you would. That ain't your bag. What are we in? We in February. Y'all about, um, damn, y'all about two months from a year. <laughs> Holy shit, shit, yeah, damn, yeah, that fucking flew. Yeah, y'all look about two months from a year. And since you have been here, yes. I got to give you your props. You've kind of converted. I feel I'm a little more southern than I used to be. <laughs> I am. You four they, two Doug. They just got to be. Yeah, I fuck with. Yo, I fuck with Doug. Thank you. I got a short list of the niggas. Like Doug, Fabio. Man, I try not to read the internet about my guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't read none of that shit. Yeah, no, no the I'm good. The internet yeah, trying y'all. to. No, y'all I, trying to make me hate. No, no. I no. I will not read none of that <laughs> until the Fabio down bottom song comes out. <laughs> That's it. After that, then you can read. And I shit. told y'all about a year ago what that's going to sound like when this young man, when this outstanding <laughs> young man is on this. Oh my God, yo. Oh, just stay home. <laughs> Don't go outside. Don't hit a club. Wait, is that something that exists or that's something that you. Nah, it's coming. Okay. It, it does Did you not... hear some of it? You sent it to him? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you fucking kidding me? What Fabio was doing to this beat? Just imagine it. No, I, nigga, I don't have to imagine. I know what he's going to do He that. drilled. He did some drill sh- Yeah, nah, yo. <laughs> All the gunshots. All of them. Yeah, nah. We need other guns. <laughs> All, yeah, <everything>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong gun. Yeah, yeah. That, that Shout is. out to Drag, yo. I miss you. I love you, yo. 2022, yo. I'm on love, peace, for the niggas that I fuck with. What? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, that also they, dropped. Nah, they trying to turn me to a monster, yo. <laughs> they try, hey. ESTG drop. Hey, the devil works hard, but ESTG works harder, bitch. Another dollar. I got it. I got That's it coming. for the cup. Yeah, no, no. I'm at four. I'm at four. Uh, I'm going to come in tomorrow I... and, and just make it rain on the <laughs> cup like that. Yo, ESTG, my guy. My brother turned black as three monk. <laughs> Who hotter than G? Uh-oh. Yo, please turn this off. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. That's it, it. That's it. That's it. Please, turn, please, please turn this I off, yo. a little bit. Please, yo. Please, Listen. yo. What is he doing right now? What is happening? What is wrong with these niggas, Alex? He's they ain't even wait till it get warm to start this shit up. Well, they did it right. Because mm-hmm. you got to drop it in February if you want it to be popping around spring breakish or whenever, whatever's oh, coming. You don't want to be outside. Memorial Day weekend. You outside when that, no, them. Niggas want to be in the studio. It's yeah. nice and safe. And I'm going to just keep pushing product, getting paid. Niggas want to be outside. Oh, you too. hear all them niggas the studio rats. Yeah. They said all them niggas live in the studio. I didn't know this drop. OG Parker and Party Next Door. Is this good? It's, it's all right. I'll check it out. I have nothing to say about it. I haven't heard it. I didn't even know it came out. What else is in new music, man? Because we missed a lot, so. Sheesh. This is your bag? Sheesh. Oh, no, shit. I, I fuck with her. Nah. Yeah, Shanae, I don't know nothing about her. Shanae Harnett. Fuck with her. Ready is always, deluxe, right? Ready is always too late. Oh, God. Oh, I'm never. I don't know what the fuck you trying to know. Uh, no, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to assume that your album title and the songs are cohesive. That's Ready. The same cover. It's a deluxe, I think. Gotta be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says deluxe. Oh, okay. Oh, so I did hear this thing. Yeah, it's better. Are, yeah. they, are they new songs? So how many? I was gonna say how many new songs. I played one of them as a sleeper. I forgot which one it was. Ross Ready. dropped the deluxe. Ready is always to your yeah, ice. Stop, yo. Stop it. Because you keep telling. <laughs> you said deluxe. You keep telling us. I, I said Sinead Harnett deluxe. <laughs> and some reason every other day you keep reminding me that Ross dropped the deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you telling just, me, yo? It's out. I just want to let you know. I like some of them Ross songs, yo. I do. I went back. I like some of them. I gave the album another listen to yesterday. And I was like, let me just see if it changed. It's a couple. I'm not even... 
so angry at that Wiggle It record like I was when oh, it no, came out. No, I'm no. not as angry as at it as I used to be. I fuck with Ross, y'all. I like Ross. I do. I I'm do. I'm upset at that what, record. Was it one of his better albums? Probably not. Actually, no. It wasn't. But he's great enough to drop a solid album as he age. I just think that hip-hop, we fuck people up. We don't fuck with people correctly as they age because they're not producing the way that they once did. But we got it already, yo. Teflon Don, none of the other rappers in the world have given it to me since him. Correct. True. I'm at peace. Now, how do you... All right, so that puts us I'm at, at like peace a cross, with that. That puts, you, that puts me at a crossroads. On one hand... You've set this bar for yourself. Like, when I compare a rapper, I only compare them to their discography. I'm not saying, yo, your album is, he's rapping way better than you over here on this part. I don't do that. So, you've set a bar. You were known for having fire albums. Mm -hmm. Did I set a bar or did you set a bar? You set the bar because you put that out. Okay, go ahead. But once I put it out, it's not mine. Sure. Correct. It's but you, you listened to that, sequenced that, and said, I'm giving, this is the product. If you're a chef and you make a meal and you put your name behind that meal and serve it to me, you set the bar if that, if that meal is amazing. I love your example. Let's stay there. Chefs are chefs, so they know certain shit about chefing. I've seen chefs bring me the tiniest of bullshit plates while I was starving and said, what the fuck is this? And they laughed and looked at me like a heathen. It's a plate. It's a correct plate, you ghetto fucking poor ass <laughs> nigga. This is how a plate, you should only have this, this much this of the service. side. Right. This is how you, and I'm like, oh, okay. Now, that don't mean I had to love the plate. That's on me now. And I like your example. It's the same thing. Ross or artists design shit, sequence it, and make it to their liking and craft it that way. Mm -hmm. But once I give it away, I have, no, the game is over. I don't like the analogy. I don't either because Why? I don't like the chef analogy, period. Um, because... When you cook something, you can mimic that. I don't it's how recipe. It's how recipes get made. You put a quarter of this. You put a teaspoon of that. You put when you're doing music or you're doing something artistically, it's not gonna always be the same. If you go to a restaurant nine times out of ten, the spaghetti gonna be the same if it's the same chef making it or close to the same. When you're doing art or you're an artist, you can't always recreate the same exact feeling that you created oh. on your first project. Feeling, I like, I You've like, grown I as like, an artist. I liked the chef example because both food and music are subjective. The person creating it could feel like it's the best or worst thing and, in the and world. And they're also subject to uh, current, the taste emotion, of, current emotion. That too. But you again, the spaghetti one day may have been hitting because you were starving and the next day... But the spaghetti, so if the same chef is making it, he has a recipe that he uses. Yeah. So and musicians, it's going to resemble it. It can't. But it I can't. think it's selfish of a fan. I got Teflon Don, and I should get something like this again. Eight, nah, ten I'm, years later. Says I'm who? Not, I'm, that's that, and that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not saying you should. I should get something like Teflon Don. No, not something like that. I'm just saying that the cause, bar cause, is because because look because look. Um, What's the album? Uh, Deeper than rap don't sound like Teflon Don. They're similar though. Nah, not really. They're kind of deeper similar. than rap. Teflon Don was the introduction to Trap Ross, uh -huh. where he started the Lex, the hard beats. But there was only two or three records like that on there. Those were the biggest records on the album too. He had. Uh, yeah, okay. it, it was a different. His flow changed. He slowed his flow down. It was a big night and day difference from Deeper than Rap to Teflon Don. In fact, and both of them, shit, to me, Deeper than Rap is his best project. To a lot of people, they agree with that. But what I'm saying is. You can give me two totally different projects and they still be great. So it's not like I, I'm life gave me the exact yo. same thing. Yeah, but like, but no, life, no, no, life does, does, life does, does change. Extension of deeper life than changes. rap, it was. I totally disagree with that. Yeah, but that, that's I'm, yeah, I'm leave that part. But what I'm saying is, you can give me a project way over here and it's amazing. You can give me a project way over here, it's amazing. Life does change. So my heart might not be in the music anymore because I am I got so much other shit going. There you go. It's going to reflect me, 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 in the music. Let me music. ask you this. Let me ask you this. What's up? The Bar is an act's best album or worst album? I think The Bar's an average. You can't say that then if you say you set The Bar up here. But if, you're, if, all, if your first seven albums are damn near yeah. sevens and up. You lost me. He lost me with that one. For me, it's like if you're, if you're, for me if, to go back to the chef if analogy, first, if you if, if you make great spaghetti 
and I go back and get the linguine and it's still pretty good. I'm not going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if, if Ross would have went and did some completely, if he made a whole album full of wiggles, I could see why you might be like, all right, dog. But he didn't. He made, it sounded like a Ross album. Was it his most prolific words? No. Maybe not, but it's still a solid album. But that's why, and that's why I don't like Isis bar. Cause if your bar is average, I'm saying of bro, your average of oh, your av- work of your work. So if you gave me seven, if you gave me mean. seven albums and they all were, I don't know how many, but I'm just example. You gave me seven albums and six of them albums are eights are up. So that's just throwing, I'm just throwing a number out there. Mm. And then you come with the, so I'm expecting you to be in that range because this is what you do when you drop an album. So yeah, if you come back with a five, not saying that's the case, but if you come back with a five or something, or for something a little lower, I'm just going to say, yo, this is below the standard you set on projects to me. Even though I have mad wing stops and movies shooting them. Yeah, I'm just busy there, with there's them. nothing wrong with, again, when I say these artists are not making the same music, you, I get it. You are way beyond music. But I understand that. At this point, music is just it's something to do. I, Your heart not in it the but, same way. But that's my point. That's on fans to deal with the loss. Yeah. And so I, I don't have I to choose to not look at it like a loss. I choose to be grateful for the brighter music. parts and of that's a why career. Gave, and that's why I gave Nas his props. Because he yeah, don't Nas have to create but, music. And that's what he I don't got to create music. Now, now hold on. He created three albums in a year. And and that's, that's, stay right there. Stay right there. That, I'm going to stay there too. And that's why Pac holds a special place in my heart. Because he been dead and gone for ages. Machiavelli is still Machiavelli. Me against the world is still me against the world. And all eyes on me is still all eyes on me. Y'all could two apocalypse now me to death. I'm with y'all. I don't know, I'm cool. I'm cool. I understand that. But them three. But well, hold three, on. Ish, to, what you, to what you yeah. said, Nas don't have to rap at all. Ever. He just gave us three projects. Not just three projects. Passion projects. But look at the quality of the projects that he put out. Nas had a dip. Every rapper has a dip. And for him to be in year 30 or whatever year this is, don't have to rap a million businesses. I'm all the way up. I'm doing this shit because I feel like it. I'm triggered when so fans because, judge the dip, yo. No, and but you, judges you, dips. I'm not, fam, just listen to what I'm saying. Because compare Nas to that Ross argument. A million businesses, I don't have to do this, but I gave you an amazing body of work still. That came after what? And this is where another fans, amazing body of work. And then no, another one. No, no, no. Stop it. And this is where the fans think that I be shitting on Nas, and I do not. That Kanye album was trash. All indications led to it's trash. They was unhappy in the pic- picture in the project. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, wasn't yeah. a perfect marriage with production and mm-hmm. lyrics. Mm-hmm. But all of us going into it said it's Nas and Kanye. Wow. How can as, it be bad? As an artist, I told when it's bad, you go focus different. You're right. You make sure, all right, let me get with the person I'm comfortable with. Get back in my pocket and produce something that is more along the lines of what my body is. Okay. And then we got three amazing projects. Cool. I loved those Ross albums before this last one. Like, love, love, love. It wasn't, like, bad for me. I still go back and listen to uh, <laughs> God Forgives I Don't along with, uh, what's the, not God Forgives The one with the writing on the back. Yes, I that, like one. that one. Ra- lot, ra- yeah. rather, rather you, rather than, you than me. Like, that was just a few years ago, right? So it's like Mike won the chip. He went away to play whatever. And then he came back and niggas were scared. Oh, shit. But you're miss- back. But you're scared because you know what he did just two years ago, yo. Joe, you're missing a point. The album you love, Rather You Than Me, it's 2017. Mm-hmm. He came back after that. Mm-hmm. 2019 with Port of Miami 2. Was not received the best. Had some records on there. I thought it did. Yeah, no, I, I do too. I, there's yeah. there's records on there mm-hmm. that I like, but mm-hmm. it was not. It's it's there's a, it's not rather you. Than it me. wasn't rather you than me. Correct. Now you come back with this one, um, Richard and I ever been, not received the best. Less records on there. No, you're right. I get what you're that's saying. That's all I'm but saying. But that's why so I it's asked, like there's it's not a dip. It's that's more why a, I asked my cool. bar question to you because to me, and I could do this wrong because I'm a rapper, but I try to have rapper empathy for rappers. The bar for me is your worst output. For me. That's because, probably rapper break. Because that's the lowest that I've ever heard you get. For me, it can't get lower than whatever your low is. It can only be up. There's okay. only room for 
hope and improvement. I'm not going to hold you to your high and I'm not going to hold you to an average because that's just whatever. But what you do when it's just bad, bad, I kind of give grace. I'll skip it. So you're right. 2017. Great album. That next album wasn't his best. Mm -hmm. I don't hold hold him to it. Got it. That next album. eh, I see what could kind of go on there. Wasn't your greatest. I'll wait to hear the next one before I say something like Rick Ross, a definitive statement. Rick Ross is such and such. Now, off mic, we have these talks about niggas that's cooked. Correct. Completely well, wait, hold finished. on. Before you leave that, hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, we're going to get back yeah, to that. Yeah. What is Rick Ross's worst album? When you say you hold them to their worst, what do you consider the worst album? And where do you put Richer Than I Ever Been to that album? Richer Than I Ever Been for me is not Ross's worst album. I'm project. not saying that. I'm asking you I don't what know. the worst is. I've never thought about is. it. Well, then, okay. I've well, never thought about because it. Because I would like to know what you consider out of his discography to be the worst album. Scroll up. And then once you do that, I want to know Port how far no. away. Trilla, no. Deep in the rap, no. no. Teflon, Teflon no. No. never. Because God I don't know. I don't know. Now yes. you in the mastermind, hood billionaire, black market era. Even mastermind, I would say. I no. love mastermind. I, I, I love mastermind. I love, I love shit mastermind. On there. Yeah. But now when you get the hood but, billionaire, black market. See, and that's my beef with fans. Mm-hmm. If I'm going off the consensus. Fuck the we, consensus, man. All right, so I'm going off me. Yes. It's not mastermind. No. Hood billionaire is what? You just answered it. You don't know. Yeah. I'm saying you. you What's on there? I've heard every Ross album. What's on there? Hood been in uh, Coke like 80s. Henry Elvis Williams. Presley uh, Boulevard was oh, a good one. I'm cool. Yeah, but this, yeah, yeah. this wasn't for me. Go ahead. Go back, please. And now check out uh, Black Market. I love Black Market. Black Market had some shit on it too. If I, I like. I like Black Market. I did. So the hood billionaire was the worst. So you was, for, me, for, that's me, what I was trying to for me, it would be hood. Oh billionaire. yeah, this one was Silk Road and Coke. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Market. Actually. Okay. See, so, but the reception changed. It's back to my fan point, and I'm leaving Ross because there are things to discuss. Mm-hmm. The reception changed once your high is gone. Teflon Don. Now, no matter how good you are, fans are slowly getting off of you. Uh, Rowdy, uh, not Rowdy, uh, Roddy Rich is going through a short version of that now with my high was my first. Like, it was super high that. Which yeah. is the case for a lot of people. But yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all. So I just try to have a little bit of, be a little That's why super dope rappers. artists, they sophomore jinx them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's hard to represent It's hard that. to, it's hard to. Or stay at Joe, Joe said that, he, what was your quote? You have your whole you life. You get your whole your life for your debut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get whatever that time span is for the next one. And now you got expectations, budgets, money, features. We can put you with any producer that you want. What do you want? Mm-hmm. Dream it up and now make it. Mm-hmm. It's different going in the studio when you the only one with confidence in what you could do and you smack one versus now you going in and they all just waiting. Nobody records. Nobody writes. Nobody does nothing. Yeah. We sitting out, they smoking blunts, drinking 40s, fucking bit. Ah! <laughs> 50, 50, 50, $56. 50 cent. <laughs> yeah, I got, 50, I got 50 cent for them, man. But they fucking, they inviting people to come through. Your friends is bringing every possible distraction to the studio. And we still want to watch you be genius. I mean, I ain't got to tell Park. He's yeah. a fucking engineer. Mm-hmm. You've been around enough studio yeah, sessions. Just, hell yeah. Y'all, yeah, I, I just think it's unfair, yo. And I know that you a listener, so you don't get into the mind of having to make some of this shit. But you niggas with full break bend. It will be over, yo. I want to hear how many times you go in there. Album back in the day had to be nine songs, ten songs, at least. Go do it ten times dope. Make it all different. Different concepts. Shit, albums had to be different, fucking longer. Different, that, different that time, During the CD yeah. era, it was expected to be 15, 15. 17. Mm-hmm. Man, I used to hand in a whole album in this introspective shit. Yeah, that's cool, but where's your girl song? Where's your this song? Where's your this song? It was segmented. Mm-hmm. Today, artists have the luxury of it's free. It's mm-hmm. just free. Tyler's so genius, that's free. Oh, shit, he put Kid Capri on it. Well, yeah, and it's dope. But it's free. It's artistic. It's niggas they, got didn't really, more, they got a lot more. Yeah, money niggas didn't really have that back then. Wait, I want to put an ad in my ad-free podcast. Really quickly, for those to who this uh to who this may concern, uh, round of applause for us. Uh, you guys in two months for your one-year anniversary. And me now, this is our one year, my one year, our one year anniversary mm-hmm. of uh, the Patreon deal. We've been there for a year. We introduced a new tier. It's called Part of the Show. I won't tell you the price. Check it your fucking self. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's called Part of the Show. And it's just me trying to integrate and be interactive. Like, we sit here enough and talk about shit. It'd be great 
if we could include y'all and just be inclusive and hear some of the things that y'all want to hear us talk about so we can unpack that as well because we are the unpackers. We are. Don't tell me about, yo, Joe, you bugging. If you say that, it's not for you. Mind your fucking business and let's totally move on. There. I'm excited for this. I, I well, me am too. to an extent because I read what part of the show comes with and it says, you know, we can read your comments and whatever you want us to talk about. That puts a bullseye on me. <laughs> what? So what? I was like, nah. You choose what you want to discuss. I know. Well, no, I'm, I'm just talking about the comments. Well, why do you think it put a bullseye on you? Because I know a couple people have been waiting to say some shit. I, I know we don't have to discuss mean, we gotta it. Talk about it. No, I know. I, if I don't want to talk, I might call one of them. Yeah, what, what, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm including that. I want to hear from our audience, which is wide. No, that's dope. I do. So no, that's again, very dope. Again, it's, it's some... Hey man, you're just a little scared. I get it. I I'm, I'm joking. You know. <laughs> I'm joking. I love the fans now. I used to hate them. What it's that nigga just... said? You need a real nigga to hold you. <laughs> I wonder how that feels. <laughs> we got it. yo. We be right there, and then he just. It's fine. It's fine. Somebody's got. Somebody's got to be a little extra. Uh, so let me get into my MMG segment here. I didn't know I had one, but shit is happening in real time. Yeah. Broccoli Festival dropped their flyer. Ari Lennox name is at the top. Little Dirk name is at the top. I tell y'all all the time that font size matters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is in D.C. If you're unfamiliar, Wale's name is on the second row. That's a slight. In D.C. Yes. In D.C. With a project out. Mm-hmm. On tour. Mm-hmm. And a good project. Mm-hmm. So let me tell y'all what that means. That means that he or his planners are trying to route a tour through festival season. Mm-hmm. Tours take a few, a little bit to plan. They're pretty intricate. Mm. And you might not be around D.C. in your routing right. by the time that festival pops up. Gotcha. Mm. But it's important to me, and that's home. And it's home. That's home. Different home. energy. I would go out of my way to be there from tour. But I'm on the second row in the smaller font. <laughs> Take me off. Wale says, I'm pulling out this show. Round of applause. Clap the air. Said, Clap that <laughs> Round of applause. 21 Savage, Ari Lennox, Lil Dirk on its second sentence is Wale, Rico, Nasty, and Jesus. That's night one. Let's make okay. sure that they, it's two Okay, nights. night one. And the third uh, row is Larry June, Joyce Rice, and Mooney Law. I love Mooney Law. Money Law. Money. Whatever. I love, love both of them. <laughs> and then the second night. Uh, well, and I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> She's so stupid. <laughs> She's great, though. She is. Second night, Summer Walker, WizKid, Gunner, Don Tolliver, Tim's, Masego, and Babyface Ray. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Wale or know you're going? May 7th. Let me, wait, is May this, 8th. Is this a typo? It's going to be warm. It's going to be warm. Up. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Wait. No, that's not it, a typo. It's though. real. That's a real festival, man. That's happening. Uh... Let me read the second night again. <laughs> Summer Walker, in the biggest font I've ever seen. <laughs> Wizkid, whose name should be just as big as Summer Walker. Gunna, Don Tolliver, Tim's, Masego, and Babyface Ray. And I love Alex Vaughn. <laughs> I might be there Sunday. Wale, I'd have pulled out too. For the same reasons as you. But looking at this, I would have wanted to be on and at, at my at home. You put me on the first night, nah. No, he's on tour. No, though. I don't give a fuck. I am home. I'm home, and, dog. And, and tour pro, tour planners, promoters, all that shit. They don't respect the value that comes with just hometown energy. You don't have to be the most current in the world or have the highest charting record or the highest selling album. For there to be a different type of hometown cooking energy. Dog, I told y'all, anytime Wale tours, I go to Philly because it's the it's, it, you know, it's not it's, it's close to home. That's damn near home show for him when he does Philly. Nah, give me the meek shit. What are you doing? I'm done. Okay. I said my MMG segment, Wale is done. On to Meek. Ross. Yep, on to Meek. On to Meek. And this is pretty interesting. And round of applause for just freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. Having the courage and the gall and the cojones to say some of these things against the powers that be. See, and this is why I really like Meek tweeting. I don't care when he tweet the stupid shit. 
Because you got to get some of the good with the bad. He says, and I quote, So look, dog, mm -hmm. I made Atlantic Records hundreds of millions for clarity. Atlantic Records is Wale's old home. He seemed a little upset with them. And then he moved over to Warner, which is still Atlantic. Mm -hmm. I know. So Meek says, I made Atlantic Record, Atlantic Records hundreds of millions and let them ship me out of Roddy as an artist. They came to me about in jail. Now, y'all know Meek to find out. It was rape me, out of, rape me out of artists. Well, got it. Same shit. Rape me out of uh, Roddy as an artist. Y'all know Meek to go and find the up-and-coming mm -hmm. talent. Mm -hmm. um, they still saying I can't drop music until nine months after my last album got blackballed. Just rap buildings and Nina art with talent. Roddy's my youngin' still, but that label separated us instantly when the millions came in from him. Same thing they tried to do with me and Rosé. It takes a long time to catch up, too, because most of them tied in for the love of some money. Artists are scared to speak up. And he's speaking as a veteran. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got years in. Dreams and Nightmares is a decade old. Mm-hmm. Boy, did I feel old when I realized that. He continues. They didn't put nothing into expensive pain and then said I can't drop another project for nine months at the end of my contract after I made them hundreds of millions. How would, can anybody survive that? And he said that, not me. Most rappers can't speak because they depend on these companies. I don't. If I didn't have millions, I'd probably do something crazy. They're outsmarting young black kids, taking advantage and calling it business. Other artists speak up and tell the truth while you're winning, not when you're down. Mm. I love that part. Oh, he's got more. I had to think Roddy didn't come to me. He was on his own grind. They bought him to me and cut me out soon as the money came. The label should have paid me, not Roddy. Then they fed him like I was trying then they fed him like I was trying to lock him in. I was trying to help and eat. Ain't get a dollar from the label. Also, I had to fight for my life to get DC4 counted as an album because they said I called it. They said I called it a mixtape. If y'all made 20 million off it, then what is it counted as? Mm. Let me read that again. Also, I had to fight for my life to get DC4 counted as an album because they said I called it a mixtape. If y'all made 20 million off of it, then what is it counted as? Gentlemen. <clears throat> um, I appreciate this from him. I think it's a, a lesson to other up-and-coming artists like he's saying yo y'all acting like it's business it ain't business it's really y'all bullshitting and raping us um for money also even with the um dc4 shit i'm, I'm assuming he on a multiple album deal mm -hmm. so they're trying to get you to stay for two more albums and not count one of your albums as an album and y'all made bread off my shit if mm -hmm. it was a mixtape y'all shouldn't have made 20 million dollars off of it you get what i'm saying so the, the whole classification of album mixtape has always been weird to me, and I don't really know how you Today is, line it's, it's, that up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Before the mixtape was literally, remember, the mixtape used yeah, to have it was in, for promotional use only correct. stamped on it. It wasn't sold. That correct. was the one of the main differences between mixtape and album. Yeah, This wasn't being sold. So I'm with him. I mean, if, if all the stuff that he's saying is true, it's just basically the uh, divine conquer. Well, and, I, and, and, oh. and his business. Mm -hmm. It's divide and conquer, and it's business. Um, it don't have to be good business to be classified as business. No, I understand that. Well, yeah, no, I'm just saying. But some of the things that he's talking about, <sighs> he's talking as if this was the last album in his deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is. That's what it sounds like. That's what he's saying. And I want to get the fuck from under y'all. And as I've just said, maybe it couldn't have even been two weeks ago. If that's your last album... Your label is not investing and pouring into your project to raise your stock mm -hmm. so you can go somewhere else and profit off of it. That's not mm -hmm. Joe making it up. Please don't attack no, me, No, that fans. makes sense. So when he says, I got to wait nine months after the project, after I went and did all this work, well, first of all, in your situation, you probably shouldn't have went and did all that work without checking the contract. No, it seems like the, the expensive pain was the next to last album. I think he got one more. If I'm reading it the way I'm reading it in my brain, he has one more, and he wants to get that one done. But That's what it sounded like to me. He too. can't yeah. get another. He can't get his next album out for nine months, which means I want to give y'all this last project. Get the fuck out of my face. No, and they're saying no. Of yeah. course, 
Yeah, I, I got, as, as they sh- as they should in yeah. business, they would. It, you don't have to say should, because again, you can do quality business. You want to leave? Cool, leave. I don't want to hold you qu- here against your wishes. I, I'm, that, that's not necessarily quality business, though. If to the, hold somebody against their no, will. No, no, no. For what you said, if you want to leave, then leave. I've invested a lot in you. Yes, I've made a lot off of you. You're hot right now. Quality business is to continue making money up to the end. Like Indeed. I don't necessarily want to just let you go either. Yeah, quality dog. business is I'm looking out I'm not looking out for you I'm looking out for the company and that's what I'm not and that right there doesn't make it quality business mm. we're in the music business I know especially a record label they're in the record they're in the record yeah, label. They're, 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 in the they're record not in the business, business. Of, of, of they're not here doing to, quality they're not to here you. to massage you no but quality business is not yo so you I do feel, business with morals. Yeah, I, uh, they're they not don't. doing quality business. There it is. That's what I'm they saying. Don't. We don't need to stay there. They're not doing yeah, That's good. That's what I'm saying. So I, I, I But I, I just said them. business. I didn't put the quality in front of it. So even in your example with this being his second to last album, on that other album with dun, 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 boy, mm. it sounded like some money was on that bitch. It did. It sounded like support was there. Put some money in that car. No, I got a whole dub coming to that. Bitch, 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 bitch. It's coming, nigga. I put a 50 in there. But listen. There was a thing. Nah, there you said the last there, album with some money on oh, it. Oh, championships. Tell. You could hear the trained ear could there and then just the features, the, the samples. The sample bunch samples. Of was yeah, just hot. the samples. Yeah. This Damn, album, the first five records was big samples. That's the other reason I don't be fucking with like the fans' thoughts on shit. That last Russ album, not to get back on Russ, I can hear the money ain't there. I said that. It ain't there no more. You did what you could do with what you could do it with. Same with Meek here, expensive pain. You did that by yourself. You got the verses, the features by yourself. You got to beat by yourself. Mm-hmm. You rap the buses by yourself. You did Rock Nation. You did whatever y'all did. But yeah. the label, you could tell when they pull out a little bit and fans can't. So they shit on an artist. Oh, you ain't the same. Mm-hmm. You ain't That's, the same. Which is why it's funny. You said about Big Sean. Which is why it's funny to judge. Yeah, the exact same thing you said about Big yes. Sean. You like you 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 when you painted it that way, it made me look at it a little differently because you was like, yo, I could see this is Sean out there standing on his own, doing his best. And I'm again empathetic. My word of the day. It's triggering for me because that's what they tore my ass up when Def Jam was in turmoil, changing presidents and regimes, and now every department was gone. I was 25, 24. Pump it up was just, and then, oh, he's finished. He's cooked. He's done. Oh, it's whack. One hit wonder. Fam, it was a couple of years ago that I did that. I'm 24. <laughs> I get why y'all treat me. So, I, I mean, I just feel differently about these niggas, man. I'm glad that Meek shared this. I remember when him and Roddy did all of this. And yeah, you brought Roddy over there. He popped. I want to get you away from this nigga. Stop, stop, stop. Yes, the label could have done quality business to Isha's point. I ain't arguing that. But with our information, and that's what he's saying, so you got to get burnt by not having the information to go out there and get it. What Meek is saying is, yo, had I known... Mm -hmm. And had I handled that differently, I don't have to rap again. Word. Right. That's what he's saying. That's the missed opportunity. But I saw, I saw and, then, and then he even said it. I don't. I, and his his beef, even with that, he was like, Roddy. I don't. I didn't look at Roddy to pay me. Mm-mm. The label should have did label that. Should have paid me. That's he says that. Like right. it's not for Roddy. Don't he didn't don't want to make it seem like I'm calling Roddy out. Mm-hmm. Nigga, the label should have paid me, not Roddy. I don't need him to pay me. Y'all made how whatever, much of, whatever come amount on, of dog. money. Gary V says, if you have a dollar and spend a dollar, you didn't really lose a dollar. You lost the potential that the dollar had for you. Yep. What you did with it could have gained you 10, whatever. 20, 100 But you spent it. So you thinking you're down a dollar, but you're down a little bit. If Meek works out his percentages and whatever mm-hmm. properly with the label that he's in good standing with, that hey, MMG was over here, Wale was mm-hmm. over here, we was over here, we did it. We mm-hmm. we that was our run y'all had. Mm-hmm. We kind of made it cool and hot for artists to even want to come fuck with y'all mm-hmm. over here. Atlantic was popping when fucking back when Fab was over there. That was ages ago. Now they're great now. Sorry, Julie Kaiser. <laughs> 
They just go. I'm, yo, I'm glad that I don't make music and I can just talk, yo. <laughs> but they're great now. But Mika's saying, yo, had I worked that out, I get my percentage of Roddy. Mm -hmm. He popped on album one. I'm in for the ride. Mm. You might ne never hear from me again. And I'm sure that's got to bother him as he's around these billionaires. Man, we saw. He said that he talked to him when he was in jail. As it, yeah. as it bothers me, had I, had I known what Spotify was doing at the front, we negotiate differently because the impact that you have there and the business that you open, I never pot again. Well, I would because I love it, but you pot from a different seat mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and you have to get burnt that way. So when the opportunity presents itself again, you know what to even fight for, argue for. You know what feels good and don't feel good. There's no way to get it outside of being burnt. Like, Oh, man, let me not get into it. It's just a lot. Shout out to Meek, man. What I what I like about this is the fact that because artists have been feeling this way for years, mm -hmm. since the beginning of the time, then since music, yeah. And we now have that outlet via social media where they can tell kind of the next generation what's going on right on the spot, right. So somebody could be watching this and not make like I said before. I don't have to learn from my mistakes, I could learn from your mistakes. Right. So somebody else could see this and it prevent them from making the same fuck up down the line. I was going to add something similar to that, but a bigger thing too is he says, yo, a bunch of artists feel like this. Mm -hmm. I independently have enough money where I don't need them to feed me so I can voice my opinion. Mm -hmm. And that's where, I, and that's where and it's not that's good. very, very, very rare. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I got True. enough money. A lot of motherfuckers got to sit down and take it. I don't necessarily got to sit down and take it because y'all can't starve me out. I when you was 24, they can starve you I'll out. Finish. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You That's can't say too much. That's how the music business works. That's like, like you said about Kanye. That's how it gets the shit yes. off. Same sure. shit like you said about Kanye. Like, like I, yo, don't need I, don't gotta tell, I could tell y'all what the fuck is up. Yeah, I can throw true. my dick on the table I, anyway. I counter that with it, this extremely small percentage of acts. Mm-hmm. That make it there. True. He's one of them. True. He didn't do that this whole fucking decade. He played nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he was the hottest in the world, it wasn't a fucking peep about an issue. Okay. You worked through whatever bad contracts existed and you made your money. Mm -hmm. but and now you stand in a spot where you have Privilege. done well enough to Privilege. say, Fuck them. But wait, but wait hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Two things could be true. It could also be... Knowledge. I ain't know. A knowledge. I just said knowledge. Because... No, it's both. Two yeah. things could because be true. But me, me, me getting... Me getting... Stand in certain rooms and shit, I get you exposed learn. to... Yeah, I learn more yeah. information. Talking to this, certain This, to attorneys. me, ties And into, I wanted different things. Mm -hmm. I wanted more. We ain't seen Meek on a motorcycle in ages. Look, this mm -hmm. in me... It ain't worth it. This, to me, ties <laughs> into Ross on the album saying, I let these rapper niggas get too close to Meek. Like... I think there's a little bit more here. Like, he's like, yo, had I not let people get too close to him, whoever's filling his head with the way he's feeling right now may not happen. Yeah. Now, we don't know the inner workings of who's right, who's wrong here, but I think the, the, his, this rant and that line goes together. It's possible. Mustard said, I'm pretty sure it was Mustard. Uh, Mustard said, yo, you'll never hear me bitch about a bad contract because we all had a bad contract. And some of us work through it and make it to a space where we don't have to do that anymore. And some of us just keep getting the bad contracts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, if once I grow and I get more information and I get more knowledge, and if I'm sincere, I'm trying to stop other young artists from getting those mm -hmm. shitty deals and those shitty contracts. Mm -hmm. Not just that, because I am up financially and I don't need y'all to feed me. He's saying, nigga, imagine if I didn't. I want to come in here on some postal shit. Yeah. Right. He said, "If I yeah. wasn't rich, I would come in here and do some other." You I, get what I'm saying? Like, like I would want to come in here and do some you know, other. Shit. Ice Cube yeah, going yeah, in the park, like, yeah. Yeah, like you get what I'm saying? So he's saying, "You young niggas, cross your T's, dot your I's, yeah. make sure everything is everything because if they got you, they got you, and they own you, and you can attest to that." And they know Period. that that's the game. Yeah. They want you to not know any better. They doing it on purpose. Yeah, that's yeah. the bad uh, thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm out. No, no. <laughs> Triggering. Yes and no. It used to be real triggering because I thought that most of us artists felt the same. It mm. took me to grow and learn that we don't. Mm. He's fighting for half. 
He's fighting for halvesies. Mm-hmm. Right behind the door is a flock of niggas that's coming to sign their name on some shit that they never read and never seen and it's desperate for just the opportunity to work through a bad contract. Mm-hmm. It's it's us over here that it's just different. No, it just depends on well, what size of the fence you on. I agree or with that. Where I'm not, not even. Career. Career. It, it, yeah. it, it, it just, and where you at, yeah. I, I'm not well, just with that. Th- those same ones who are in a rush to sign that contract, once they sign it and learn what happens... They rush to get to the other See, side. See, I think there's privilege in them niggas, but I'm a, psych- I'm a no, psycho. that's not psycho. There's privilege in them niggas. You know what my first contract was, Ish? How many albums it was? Five. Five. In a time where you could not drop two. Mm-hmm. Work it out. Five, we got you. And we got options. Mm-hmm. So you got five, and we want another one or two, whatever the fuck it says. Mm-hmm. Today, you hear him? Yo, I just dropped the album. They're telling me to wait nine months. He ready to go. Mm-hmm. Right, Most I'm of the trying kids to get the fuck out of here. I'm at, yo, I'm getting, I'm working my way out of this. So mm-hmm. yeah, he's right. They're going to try and stop you to that. But artists, we have some advantage. It's a little different today. We got to get the information. We that's can, all we, it is. We, we can get out of this. But that's the key. Yeah. It's the information. It's, and it's always and we're, and we're in the And the information is, 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 is. They can't hide it no more. Exactly. They can't lock it in the safe and throw it away. Exactly. When you got now and niggas is talking. The niggas internet. Is, you got the internet. You have, mediums. you got you have the artists who went through the bad deals. Yeah, but you got just, that. You can me, look. Let me be the bearer of bad news. For more information that's released public, it's more information is hidden. Mm-hmm. Like when they see all this shit going they on, the rules every podcasters, day. the older acts, Sharon, Nori, you got the older acts coming up there giving game. We see you niggas. Watch this. Hey, that wasn't the album. Yeah, you called it a mix. That was EP. Your words. Your words. You called it that. I yeah, see you yeah, saying that. EP. Your mm-hmm. contract, this is what they did when niggas was trying to work through shit. Your contract says five albums. Mm-hmm. Not mixtapes. And you know what we do as artists? Yo, I got this album coming. And this is my shit that I'm setting up for like the songs and shit, but my core audience, like they expect that I'm gonna drop a little, I'm gonna drop a, something first. <laughs> like you gotta fucking do all of that. Nah. Yo, you know what they told me? Um. Oh man, the cheats, the cheat codes that these young kids have today. Mixtapes didn't count toward nothing. It was real mixtape, mm-hmm. nothing. Promo. You only. didn't make mm-hmm. shit. Promo only, and you might get arrested, nigga. Mm-hmm. So then yeah. we said we thought we had them. We gonna do all original music. Mm-hmm. That'll show them. No, it's an album. It now it's an album. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. an album. Yeah. Wait, you just threw that to the street? <laughs> all right. EP, independent. Independent albums didn't even count. They didn't count on a publishing deal. Mm -hmm. You did two independent albums. You don't get half a point. (laughs) No, half a credit. I fought for years for for, for them to say, well, the game's changed. (laughs) So we will count your project as a half. Really? Yeah. It's a half. So when you do that again, it's a whole. That's a whole album. <laughs> no, you that's, still that's only a couple more. You that, know how much you asking of an artist to remain hot or on top of his game or in the best creative space when they just trying to. That's what they're doing with streams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the music business is is trickery of numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorcery, <laughs> have you? Yeah, and, nah. confu- and confusion. F- fam, Doctor Strange, play yeah. action. Yeah. <laughs> play action. A lot of play, play action. action. Yeah, yeah. A lot of play action. Yeah, That's you hit nice you hit that on the head, man. Uh, what else? What else is important? <laughs> Anthony lady. Hamilton versus Music Soul Child, February fifteenth, Valentine's Day special. I love both of these gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a bad night for one of them. Which one? I won't say. It. I won't say. It. I know which one. You know which one. You yeah. Mean. They know which one you. This is, yo, and it hurts me. I don't really know which one. Okay, it's yeah. fine. Well, could y'all tell them? I would like to know. It's Anthony Hamilton. It's gonna have the bad night. Yes, I was thinking, and that's my man. No, no, no. So I don't want to say it, but the closer you get to twenty against music, so deep water goes a little different. That's what I thought. It's, he's it's different. A different deep water. It's different if it's ten. Ten. They oh ten. You, you playing ten is a slugfest. Not at twenty with a nigga who mm-hmm. who had 
hit big singles into album five. <laughs> no, I agree. Because I was kind of, I wasn't, uh, no, nah, I was still fucking with music, but when, teach me how to show you. And that was later. <laughs> the other one he got was later. See, look, this is crazy. Just friends is the point. Love, point. Girl next door, half crazy, don't change, for the night, who knows? Who no? Oh, hell nah. <laughs> See, he got joints that when you hear him, buddy is a joint. A Teach me, make you happy radio. So if if you leave. Nah, so beautiful. Stop, <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> See, that's unfair for somebody to have to stand across from so beautiful. Anthony Hamilton going to have to get in the, uh, his bag with that one. But he only got a, let me not do that. He has three joints that should go against so beautiful. <laughs> you heard so beautiful before. Probably. I probably play it so you know what it is. No, you heard so beautiful. I probably did. Oh no, and you and you played it for a little beautiful thing driving down, <laughs> and, driving down. Let me stop because the fans are like, Joe, be trying to snitch on us. <laughs> Yo, Joe really hates this. They gonna stop talking again. Joe, really, I hate you, nigga. Yo, I fucking hate you, nigga. It's one of my strongest friends. Y'all want me to just be delicate with this nigga? Fuck y'all. This uh is. <sighs> it's not fair. Oh, it's not yeah, fair. Beautiful. It's not fair. This is. This has never not worked. You could have just met her 10 minutes ago. Just play it. Whoa. Baby. It worked oh. already. <laughs> it worked already right there. Now we got to let this go to the hook. That's my favorite thing about verses. You have to see people stand across from certified <laughs> monsters, yo. Because this wasn't the biggest record, but every girl know it. Just for me. Hey. Now they singing along out there. Let's go to Hold up. Hey! Future would smoke this beat. <laughs> nah, I'm letting it go to the hook, yo. Shout out to Music Soul Child. We love you. Hey! Hey! All right, man. Listen. Listen. Music is, is, is one of them. That's all. That's crazy. He's one of them. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is my guy, though. Alex, go back. It's going to be a fight for about 10 records. Yeah. It's going to be a fight for about 10 records. Not necessarily. What'd you say? Not necessarily. Nah, it's going to be a little slugfest it, it, for 10. It, it depends on oh, how, how see, hard music want to come out the gate. Wait, look how it things... It might not be a slugfest. Look how things come full circle, yo. I was in pain when I rapped on this shit, yo. Oh! Nah, yo. He bugged out. He bugged out. I'm going to give him a hook and then we on to something. Alex, find something for us to talk about because no, I'm got, vibing. We got I'm got vibing something. now. We got something. Uh-oh. We got two of them. It go. What they say? No, 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 no. That doesn't show about to take you back. <laughs> no, yo. Why she hurt me? <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, that's on the pain. Yo, come play on. Play. What, what little Dirk did to somebody? Yo, that's where you was looking to snitch. <laughs> Huh? You was looking at the snitch on a nigga? No, that's when I realized snitching didn't do work. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's his take care too. <laughs> it ain't work. Oh, there's man. levels to this, right? Like there's a progression. Like at this time ish, I was broke and susceptible to losing to a rich nigga. That's what it was. But it had to be harder for you. What do you mean? Because you still was famous. Yeah, it makes it tough. Word. That makes it tough. But the world know you was famous, and she know you was broke. You so that. now you, 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 she gonna go ahead and get out there. You it ain't it ain't till you get up, and now you just hey, buddy, up. Oh, oh, it's different now. now. Now we gotta play fair, or not. And that's where these rapping niggas go crazy. Cause now I see you with a girl. You rich. You at Top Golf getting your shit off, <laughs> right? I That's like cute. her. I, I found her on Instagram somehow. Explore page looked mm -hmm, out. Mm -hmm. I sent a little DM. I golf a little bit too. She come out with me. I ain't telling. I don't know you. We used to do this. Uh, what do we? We don't need to. Right? <laughs> All right, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, In our past, more bitch. Atlantic beef. More Atlantic, yeah. NBA young boy. Yo, posts, I would, I would throw my hat if I wasn't George Jefferson right now, yo. <laughs> I would do it. I might do it anyway later. Why blackball me when I'm the good guy, says NBA young boy. I was going number one two weeks straight with a mixtape. So they took it down off the charts. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. Who they? 
He better not say Atlantic. Keep reading. No. You better keep reading. I don't give a fuck, he says. You still can't stop me. Don't sign the Atlantic. If you an artist, they not going to support you, especially if you live a certain way. That last part is the key. Stop, stop. That's that's somebody else's page. Go back to the other shit, Alex. His. Go up, go up. That wasn't it. Right there. That's not him, though. That's the fans did that. Uh, That's the fans. That ain't happening. That last line that he said, especially if If you you live live a certain way, way, is so key because I have Atlantic as the label that is going to find you if you live a certain Mm -hmm. way. It's probably the quickest way for you to get a deal over there if you're living like that. Mm -hmm. So for him to say that is interesting, number one. I also heard through the grapevine that he ain't getting a a red penny from his YouTube. I heard that. Damn. And they were, and I saw this is and going back to yo. I saw this was mm-hmm. this might have been 2017, 18. I saw what his YouTube was making yeah. a month. Mm. I know what it's making a month without seeing the labels getting it. How they do that? Because you signed over your digital rights. Now, and I, and that's what I was about to tell you. So that's why the labels go look for the niggas that's living wait, a certain so, way. But let me give it to you before, no, no, you, no, keep, before you keep going. Before you keep going. I also didn't know the value. Now go. So, you're going to target the mm. young, yeah. wow, great. Yo, we're going to throw you 400 grand, and it's more money than you potentially ever seen legally. Mm-hmm. Think about your mother. Think about your auntie. You think about your little sister that's going to public school. I'm going to take the 400, and yeah, I'm going to sign anything away. They're going to they gonna push you. Yeah, you're going on tour. You're going to get, what was that? You're going to be large. What great. video was that? Back when we was young, they was like, you're going to win. You're going to be lost. Fam, and you right give now. it away. And so now, you fuck. Mm-hmm. You kinda, and they kind of own you. Back to Meek's point. Mm-hmm. They kind of own you. a young boy probably would, a cash would never have to rap if he owned his YouTube. If he owned <laughs> just or the YouTube. Or, no, just the YouTube. Yeah, just thing. one source of income. Owning just the just YouTube. Just YouTube. Bro, when I saw the numbers. He could be fine. That's really? how incredibly yes. insane. yes. His Fam, he was he he's was, the top. Listen, he's, he's the top. Performer. No, he's a he, no, 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 no. On YouTube, on YouTube, top. for a couple years, I want to say like 16, 17, 18, or uh, seventeen, something like that. He was hiding Drake on YouTube. He was number one. He's he's him. I don't think he's working this. Know what's on it. Know what to put on it. No, they give doing a fuck it. about it. They was it was to and the that's point. My thing. It was to the point where. They were dropping music only on his YouTube. It oh, yeah. wasn't on streaming. Yeah. Yep. It wasn't on no mixtape. Yep. wasn't on no album. The only way you could hear it is to go to the YouTube page. And he not getting no spanking. I, I, that's crazy. Something. But he, he ain't, ain't got to be getting shit. It on how these the niggas is went. going around performing at all these uh, uh, little digital spots for the look. They don't have to necessarily be profiting from it. I don't think he's getting anything from that YouTube page. I don't know, but heard through the grapevine, and that grapevine kept talking. Talkative little grape. grape. <laughs> My mouth was on the floor. It still was California gone. California grapes. Well, look, I just I, I wanted to double check, and he, he himself said he has made no money off of the millions of views his videos have done on YouTube. That's him. He said, I think as you you learn how badly you've been taken advantage of, I never got paid for YouTube a day in my life. Niggas make all the money off my YouTube, then give me a small percentage of my shit. All that shit is slavery or something. But you yeah. know, that's what we signed up for in this business. Yeah, absolutely. This right. was December absolutely, 2021. Absolutely correct. Yeah. yeah. I no, saw 33 million, 15.9 million. That's 34 per million. Per video. One view. So for him to say that is like they taking all my money and just throwing me some pennies. Well, what did they Damn. think the labels were doing? Again, you don't, you don't know, know because you know. you've never seen this kind of money. Yeah. You don't know the inner workings. Of you don't even shit. know that this type of money is possible for you. Yo, this podcast is so important. Like the, all these conversations we had today are super important. And it leads me to they little money challenge. These niggas are just running around drawing things on the floor. Mm. Happy that we can Damn. afford the chain. Yeah. Happy that we can pay the rent without worry. Happy mm-hmm. we could do things on this minimal mm-hmm. scale. Mm-hmm. 
And it's not till we find out that greater exists mm-hmm. and you capable of it. That's true. And you created it. How about the, that's <laughs> not yeah, even capable no, of it. The cap- you find out what your shit is making. <laughs> nah, the capability part is is huge. Yeah, yeah. The because we yeah. coming from where we from, we look at that shit as impossible, bro. Right. Like I'm telling you, we look at certain feats like they are impossible. But I'm just saying, it's one thing to know you're capable of it. It's a whole another thing to know that I created it. Yeah, I, and I, that's I what it's making. The <laughs> shit that I made. They go hand in hand. They, they are both. I don't, I don't want to just casually say it because y'all all right. They both are two of the biggest monumental yeah. lessons. Mm-hmm. You'll have to go through so much to learn that, yo. I was bumping my head against the wall at 20 years old when Leo and them niggas kept saying, no, we need something that I, we need some, some that I, some that I, I didn't understand what that meant hmm. so if you never did it before you just making stuff and now you have no point of reference as to what's close what's not and then you have to learn no, oh this i deep. made this, that and it's, it's deep capable of that it's to me deep, yeah. this is the same shit in the hood the the, the the car lot in the hood predatory lending shit like they know you don't know any better so they know you just want to get in this car so yeah, come on down. Sign your name here. We'll put you in this car for five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You're paying three times what the car costs. Mm-hmm. You getting fucked, but you don't know it because you got the car. This they like come that. to these rappers. They know you know no better. You have no idea what what this shit could even be worth before it's created. We see something in you that you don't know exists. We can build you up. We can make you a star. Sign here. You are broke. You ain't seen no money in your life. So here. Here go 50 grand. Here go a diamond chain. Here, we, you want to go shopping? You want to want us to Airbnb you a crib somewhere dope where you could look good on a gram? You want some wheels? What do you want? We'll do all of that. Because you come from the bottom and never seen it, you think this is life. I made it. I'm at the top. And now you realize what your shit is really making. They took advantage of you off the rip. And that's where we get these statements yeah, from. It's like, yo, these niggas really robbed me. I think it's a different thing. I think it's deeper than that. I think from where we from, you never even think that you could live in a nice house. You know and what I'm saying? You that. never even think that you could you could get cars because niggas in your hood get cars. So you see cars. You know that's a possibility. You put millions of dollars or a, a, a trip to fucking Central Pay. That's something that's foreign to you. That's only television to you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't think you're capable. You, you have a self-doubt. You don't think you're capable of putting out a product that's going to generate hundreds of millions of dollars? You don't even have that belief in yourself coming from where we from. Mm-hmm. You don't believe that that's possible. So you think I am worth 50 grand maybe because I'm kind of dope around my way. They're going to come give you 300 grand. So they just validated what you think you worth and more, but they know you worth 200 million. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and most of them niggas, the, most of the artists, the young, they they created with the ease. They yeah, created with the ease. It, it, it comes so much. It comes so that's why he got so much. Oh, yeah. It comes so fast to them yeah. that they don't put value on it either. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Who I'm not even trying. You know, I remember one sleep. time we first started doing shows. I think Warren or somebody was like, "Yo, we getting paid for this?" And I said, "Yo, that's how I feel every day. Yo, I would do this for free." Problem number one. Sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Problem number one. Gotta change that. If you feel like that, see, but you shouldn't because we're passionate and we love sure. it. Like, But yeah, as long as you're passionate and love it and you're just willing to, yo, pop up over here, come through over here, then you're not going to go and fucking, mm-hmm. yeah, you're not, man. You're not. It's tough. It's tough, man. Apparently, a lot of artists are speaking out. I didn't know so much was going on today. It's a lot. Yo, my heart is with all y'all, man. I understand. I underdig. I get it. Mm-hmm. And I wish y'all the best. Get a good lawyer. Make sure the lawyer's not in with the label. That word, your own. Yeah. Make sure that the lawyer uh doesn't have other acts where it's a conflict of interest with you. Just, just get you a lawyer that's for you, yo. That's for you. And I know that's I know that's tough because I see a lot of y'all being controlled by lawyers that are not for y'all. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, do better, man. That, that's what I got. Um, is there anything else in music? I think we kind of have crushed music I think so. today. <laughs> and somehow we started with babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I um, want... I, it, oh, what? I mean, just real quick in music, um, Nikki told, put the idea out there that she's ready to entertain a versus. She said there's two... She didn't list them, but she said there's two females that she think 
it would be interesting to see. So everyone's been running rampant, of course, trying to guess the names. I mean, Kim would have to be one. Kim, of them. Kim better be one. And the other one is Smoke and Mirrors. <laughs> Just by process of elimination. She's tight with Foxy, so you could see it being Foxy, but that's not what I don't no, think that she's Foxy talking about Foxy. I think some of the younger girlies that's doing it now, they don't have the catalog to do it. So who's the other Nikki. one? Oh, you said there is no I'm other saying one. I'm saying there's no other one. I, it might be a Missy. I was saying Missy Elliott. Outside of Missy and Kim, I don't I don't see it. That could be it too. Yeah, that could yeah. be the two. And I would I would enjoy either one of those. Me too. Niggas are scared to say Missy name. I'm not talking about Nikki right now. I'm just talking about Missy People, is artists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they scared. She on Twitter waiting for one of y'all to do it. <laughs> she is. She on there showing like, hey y'all, I'm here today. What's up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little, little, Who was it? Anniversary. Yeah, yeah. Just like y'all know. Yeah. Um, I'm here. I'm around. She, she on Twitter like, I'm just gardening today. Like, All right, now nah, you got it, yo. Chill, chill, miss. <laughs> ladies' night. Chill, big, chill, big M. <laughs> That's big M, yo. Um, last bit of music. Uh, yo, how much music does Ice have, yo? He just said that was the last bit. Of music. <laughs> no, I said I just to touch on that, but um, we were talking about um, people rebelling, and in, in India, I re pulled her stuff off Spotify. Oh, true, true. We can no mad it. people now. No, stop. This is not that simple. This is mad deep now. It okay. Is. This is mad. It's, it's way more mad than the deep I now. So let's go over it because I think we touched this on Patreon. It don't matter. Let's don't go matter. over yeah, it. Let's go, go over let's it go. now. Joe Rogan, the biggest podcaster in the world, hands down. Probably not even podcaster. Probably just broadcaster. Broadcaster, broadcaster. in the yeah, world by far. Uh, goes through some things because of how wide his audience is, and he gets up there and he invites people with contrasting opinions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm to counter and rebut some of his wild shit that he says. And he's been doing this with vaccine and the vaccine and shit for a long time. Joe Rogan is exclusively signed to Spotify Mm -hmm. uh, for like $300 million. Deep, ill, right? Neil Young said, I cannot support this. It's going to be Joe Rogan or me. I cannot keep my music and his, his bag is deep. It is. I can't keep my music there and support this while Joe Rogan is there. To my, to my interpretation, I thought Spotify said, I hear you, but suck my dick, we rolling with our guy. Mm-hmm. This is the person we paid, and this is the person that we're going with. But then, There's been a couple other what I didn't factor in was Neil Young has friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And his friends... Ain't regular friends. No. <laughs> He's his name is held in high regard with white elite legend artists. Yo, pull up the list. In, list. NDRE is great and we're no. gonna get there. Joni yeah. Mitchell. But it's like Queen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul oh, McCartney. No. no uh, yeah. Paul McCartney was on that list. Barbara one Streisand. List I saw. Yeah. It's another group. One of the big big Let's white pull groups. it up so we're not yeah. guessing. Well, we haven't found like a definitive list, but it, it was I saw Stones thrown in there. I saw Queen th- thrown in there. Queen I've seen, was in there. I I'm, saw Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, <laughs> like, yeah. I've seen some of the biggest names. Ever. Ever. <laughs> that got old school catalogs. Yes. That's, so which years, which years, again, decades. back to the conversation we had last time, is 70% of music generation, music they, they income said they lost The day that they announced the uh, the uh, the first one, yeah, Neil, Neil Young, Young, they lost $4 billion on the stock market that day. And I saw... Uh, I don't follow stock market, Legend. but uh, I saw a lot of people saying Dog, everything went down. It wasn't could be like everything's down. Gotcha. And so it's, it it's might easy not be to say it was yeah, could yeah, not yeah, be necessarily yeah. directly correlated. But, but I, I mean the, the the threat of this being a this could be broader a, yeah. band. This become a, a mass exodus. You know what's crazy though? There's a problem there. If you really want to well, look at it, already a problem. So these people have a problem with him putting misinformation out about vaccines. Mm-hmm. But he can run around saying nigga anytime he feel like it and nobody calls for a boycott at that. That's crazy to me. Like, we cancel everybody, mm-hmm. right? We, Has he done it? Said nigga? Bro, they have a, Fam, a I, verbal collage of him yeah, saying nigga. Got it. And it's it's like two, three minutes long. You get what I'm saying? So saying he can over say over whatever over. he wants to say about race-related shit uh-huh. and nobody says a fucking word. But somebody else will get canceled in a heartbeat. If they say something about other minority groups, they'll get canceled. And that's crazy to me. And that's where everybody be mad at me because I'm always pushing 
money, 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 but that's what separates all the other shit. Mm. When you got enough money or enough money is generated from you, you could do what the fuck you want to do. In America, I, I disagree a little bit. I think that comes from us just never being unified. Because if we we ha- we are the biggest purchasers, we have all the buying power in not in his demo. But what I'm saying is, if all of us were to come together, and anytime someone says nigga or something like that, mm-hmm. we cancel them the same way. If you piss off certain other organizations, they wouldn't even allow that. They'd be afraid of that before it even gets to that point. No, they won't. I would need more information on the racist stuff with him. They I don't know if that's true, and I don't want to put that on him. I'm telling you, I some... saw a video. I've seen a lot of videos of, of people. This ain't no deep fake. Like, okay. this, was, this was video video. It was just they took a bunch of clips, ran it together. I, he might be a racist. I don't know. I just I don't like putting that even shit Even if you're not a racist, yeah. he might not be he, a he racist. Be a shock. Like, I'm just trying to get He might not be off. a racist because I've seen interviews of him with black people, and he seems like he genuinely fucks with them and kicks it. Mm-hmm. That's a possibility. What I'm saying is that we can't make comments about certain minority groups. Mm-hmm. Whether you are anti that group or not, we shy away from them on the show. Correct. Mm-hmm. Why? Based on the ability for them to cancel us. I'm going to touch on your point, Ice. Pause. Black people make up 13%, <laughs> I think, of the country. Mm-hmm. So our demo, oftentimes, is not powerful enough or financially capable of crippling somebody like that. That's the difference between some of the other minority groups. They have people in positions of power financially that could stop you from eating. Fam, if we were to buy it together and collectively say, yo, we are not fucking with that. We're not putting our money in Spotify. It. Spotify don't fire him. They feel it. They feel it. They don't fire they feel him. They feel it. Something might change. Now They feel it now. Now, hold on. They're based on Let, our demo. But wait, but wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, please. Ish. Y'all. Taking it somewhere else. I'm let's go. Out. Let's go back five years. Let's say we were bounded together then, or six years, however long ago, to where we are on that list of people. Yo, you can't piss off the blacks because they 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 act. We don't come together, dog. We, I'm not disagreeing. We, we are I, so I'm not separating with you. You 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 doing apples and oranges. Um, and I don't want to stay on this. I'm talking about yeah. You could do that in retail. You could do that in certain spaces. But in this particular space, I'm talking about Joe Rogan space. His demo ain't necessarily us. So his Correct. demo is gonna still support him, regardless yes, of his demo. Let me yes. finish, Ice. Yes. Regardless of what his point is and what he says about us, his demo still gonna tune into him every week. So we ain't gonna put a dent in Spotify posting him on the radio. They're not going to say a fucking thing because the numbers is going to still be the numbers. Now, in positions like retail, Gucci do some shit. We're a big supporter of Gucci. Mm -hmm. And retail stuff, we spend all our fucking money everywhere. Right. So now we can dent they shit. I'm talking about for him and other spaces, we don't necessarily hold a power. If we were united and the biggest fucking artists, your Drake's, your biggest black artists said, I'm not fucking with Spotify. They listened, dog. It's a possibility. That's what I'm telling. I don't just mean us as I'm talking about black people. If we could get on the same page for once, it's possible. we could make a change. You, it's think, possible. you think Drake's on the black side? Don't worry about it. Let's keep going. I do. Uh, I think I think I his peers will push him to do that. Even no. if he wasn't up. Listen, this is when I, I y'all unpack some shit for 20 minutes and then the important shit I have to say about it is like. <laughs> <laughs> But this is when I knew that something was serious here. Spotify is no longer letting people cancel subscription. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you lying. No, no. It's fixed now. But this gentleman goes on to say their customer service system is completely overwhelmed. People are asking to cancel and being told they cannot. Oh, shit. These are called tech games. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Presumably, Spotify will allow cancellations again at some point once their system is not so flooded. Share any interactions you're having with them. This is the people spreading the good word out there. Mm-hmm. Um, to answer the first question y'all are asking, no. Preventing people from canceling is not legal. It's deceptive business practice and forbidden in every state that I know of. Also violates FTC regulations. Yeah. If this lasts for hours, it's a tech issue. If it's longer, it becomes a legal issue. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what told me, oh, this is a little more serious than Pressure's I getting- thought. Mm-hmm. And then the other day I woke up and Joe Rogan was himself had a video out. Yeah. As the as the biggest broadcaster in the world, when you come out to address whatever is going on you out of your it. out of your cubby hole. Somebody might have pushed you to do that. Somebody asked you to do it or urged you to do it. 
presumably your business partners. Also, mm-hmm. Spotify now has a vaccine sensitive content yeah. label mm-hmm. that they put over anything, anything vaccine related. Mm-hmm. So they are doing their best damage control job. But if more artists join this, depending on who those artists are, then it gets different. This can get different fast. I okay. agree. And I mean, for from the artist standpoint, Spotify pays out the least. So if you're some of these big yeah. people, you're like, take that shit off. I don't really care. I'll make triple that money on, on Apple in, in title. And if you go to Apple or Title right now, by the way, we love Neil. Neil. The whole playlist. <laughs> Neil, Neil Young at heart. We love uh, uh, Joni. Joni. Big jo- playlist. Joni Mitchell never lied. They're not, they're not stupid. They're not yeah. playing around. That's fine. I also learned this on Twitter, which I did not know. Apparently, Neil Young is not the one to play with about these things. Because he's him. This says, and I'm reading, Anna Lauren, hello to you. Love you. The thing about Neil Young is that he contracted polio as a child in the 50s, years years before vaccine was available. After being released from the hospital, he had to relearn how to walk. Mm -hmm. Polio left him permanently disabled, contributed to a serious anxiety disorder, and affects his life to this day. Joni Mitchell as well. Neil also has epilepsy, Mm -hmm. as does his daughter. His two sons have cerebral uh, palsy. Mm. He wrote a whole album called Trans as a way to communicate with one of them. He and his wife also founded a nonprofit called The Bridge School for Kids with Severe Disabilities. Joni Mitchell also was a victim of polio in her youth. So they tried to spin it and say that they were um, like pushing a vaccine shit. Mm -hmm. They really were affected physically and life altering shit. I say that to say diseases. they have the right man for this fight. Yeah, him and Joni, yeah. Joni Mitchell they got the right people. It was both of them. Like this, this matter is just near and dear to his heart. And he's been about that pro- protest shit. Like Ohio was a song from the '60s about when they shot people at Ohio campus. Four dead in Ohio was a song. Like he's been in the protest game for fifty years, sixty years, whatever it's been. Woodstock now. jokers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now this is an incredible story. Uh, that I might have slept on at the time because I know that Spotify is not abandoning Joe Rogan. I, that's They're heavy invested there. Yeah. But that could change. I mean, if you get all these artists that are reportedly on board with the, the yeah. boycott, it's, that's going it to be pressure. It's, it's within the realm of possibility. Yeah. It is. Well, we've seen that just because, like you said, you made I, Joe Rogan jump out on the camera and start addressing some shit. That's yeah. true. So, that so, right there says, yo, there's some there's some heat. At yeah, the front I, door, I, Ice has a point with regards to if every single artist of a certain genre, ethnicity, were to pull, then it definitely yeah. would make some waves. But I was talking about him specifically in his demo. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. him specifically in his demo. We ain't necessarily listening to Joe Rogan at, at a clip. Correct. That would and I'm I'm, I'm with Ish I'm with for you. for for all of the people that. If we got together, we can impact change all the black people. Hey, we, I'm with you. But for all of us, just as many white people that if they say nigger, they, they attract. Yeah. They yeah. attract an audience. A whole different like, audience. It's, not, it's not to be lost that Rogan has these clips floating around and he's also the largest broadcaster in the world. There's a reason that he is able to, I'm not saying that's the reason he's great at what he does, but there are a few reasons going on as to why that is there. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Um, what else we got? We are unpacking it today. <laughs> I got nothing else in music. So. Thank God, man. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> we can let you know that's it. Hey, Ice will tell you every fucking single EP. Hey, listen, tape. that was important shit. No, we it was. Can, we can, it we, was. We can transition to football if you want. Hey, and, and, and there is a transition here. Brian Flores is suing both the Dolphins and the Giants, and apparently the Broncos for racial discrimination. You're lying. I thought he got a second interview. To- no, they hired uh, Dable. I think he had an interview with the Texans or something like that. I love that. Yeah. Oh, he's on the league. The league, the teams. I love it, yo. Class action. It's a class action, too, with other black it. coaches. I'm hitting around pause again. Because mm. I just saw Chris Bosh going on a rant, saying that he is going to boycott the NFL over how they're treating the black coaches because I watch these games with my son and my son needs to see players and people on the sidelines to Issa's point earlier that gives them hope that they could be the next Madden, Belichick or whoever. Why do we only have these great amazing white coaches? It's by design. Mm -hmm. Even when they fail, they get another job. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, even when they fail, they get another job. Flores did an amazing job. Dog, if you really want to be honest, I like Ty Bowles. Me too. I liked him. They ain't give him shit to work yeah, it with. Was the Jets. No, the, it the, was the bum ass Jets. It was the Jets. The I biggest know. travesty to me in this whole coaching cycle has been Jim Caldwell not getting inter- any interviews of no. Mm. He's yeah. an ama- He took the fucking Lions to the uh, playoffs. Mm. I didn't even think about that. He is a great, great coach. I do like the the hires that the Giants uh, did mm. pulling all the Bills people over there, but. We understand what's up with the Giants. Like, and I'm a Giants fan, uh-huh. but we know what time it is, yo. Mm. See, and even that's a shame. I'm a fan, but we know what time it is. I just think that... It's sick. I think it won't change. I think it'll change soon. I think the same thing that I attribute to... All right, I'm getting outstanding. I'm sick of y'all. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no we're going right to move... We're going to go good. Um, I think that... <laughs> we're going to do gonna good. Go, <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's a whole bunch of older white men yeah. that are billionaires. They club, In their 70s. Right, the same owners thing are with, mostly old, rich, white guys. And, same thing with the Senate. Same thing with politics. It's yeah. the same shit. Yeah. And I think just Good over a period called, of time, we gonna start to gain equity in these things as they pass away. Mm-hmm. They daughters like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, I just think that over a period of time, it, it'll change. But I think as constructed today, they got the power, and they and and, and they kind of anti. Even when you're trying to coer. Fuck out of here. This is mine. Yeah. I could do what the fuck I want to do. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just where we are in politics. I think we are in sports. I think we are in a bunch of different um uh forums. But I think it's slowly gonna change as we Like you said, as yeah. they die off, man. Yeah, basically. And I don't wanna I'm just you know me, I'm blunt. When, when them old motherfuckers die off, yeah, we'll start to see a change. Oh, Jesus, yo. All Sorry. Right, yo. All right. It's it's fine. I'm just playing. We went from outstanding <laughs> to the kill a cam cam. There we go. You know yeah, me. I said he missed when Cam was killing. <laughs> It, it's fine, I got this you. beat drop, boy. I got you. I got you, right? Hold on, that was a good little joke. No, it's on my fucking sound shit. Hold on. There we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we did outstanding. Yeah, because y'all are determined to fucking sadden me out with all this shit. What do you mean, how? Nobody. Man. Say something silly. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is Joe. That I was right. We can go, go to Joe is Joe. That I was hey, right. Hey, you were cutting hey, shit off. Hey, we went right to football to football. Yeah. Ice was right. Shocked the fucking world. And I'm so glad that he was. Hey. I do. Take that, my homies. Take that. That's what Joe Burrow called Pat Mahomes. Yo, Dan, that my homies kid is. He almost had us. Yo, shout out to everybody in Cincinnati. Shout out to the Ohio State people now trying to claim Joe Burrow. That's that fucked was some up. Wild shit, That's yo. fucked up, yo. I see what y'all doing. LSU don't like that. And I like his response. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. Ice was correct. You got that. I want to say Joe was correct too, just not as correct as you. Because I forgot to actually call it. And then when we came back in Thursday, it was Thursday. So mm-hmm. I forgot again. But I did want to be able to uh to put something on it. And I wasn't shocked at what happened. I watched the game with Corey when it was 21-3. I didn't. I thought it was a dub. That second half, the the Cincy defense, you got to give them their props. Been around I know jo- Joe Burrow's going to get all the praise, but it was really that secondary. No, Listen, that, man. The, the team. The team. The team. Particularly the, team. the secondary because Mahomes was sitting in that pocket for 10 years. A minute Getting looking sad. for receivers and could not find any in the second half. I, I knew this game was over for me. When they went for that touchdown, going into the half, that was a it was a wrap. I said, "Yep, you fucked up. It was a wrap." And, and you, they were still down eighteen. At no, that point. you find yeah. yourself starting to root for Cincinnati because mm-hmm. of the arrogance of them not to take that field goal. True, you know what I'm saying? Like that was just some dumb shit. You don't leave three points on the board. Like, I didn't. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. Arrogance. What you mean? You don't understand why they didn't kick the field goal? Yeah. It's arrogance. Nuts. And look what they lost by. It's getting cute. Look what yeah. they lost by. Like, yo, they was blowing them out, and it's, you start being arrogant instead of being practical. Fam, and it's that's we happened. the Chiefs. We run the AFC. You little niggas don't even belong on the field with us. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to get... No, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm, I, did, I didn't respect you even being here. And that's what they've been... Fa- and that's why I had them to win. They've been faced this the entire playoffs. They don't know they don't Nobody belong. respects... They don't know Cincinnati they don't belong. being here. Yeah, they don't know they, they don't belong. Fuck y'all, we belong. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we winners. But that's the thing we about... We won in college. But, like, we do this. But that's the thing about the Chiefs. Like, when you watch them, 
they strike me as the team that, yo, when things ain't going the greatest, or we've seen it, when things ain't going the greatest, they can kind of look around they at each other and choky. wait till the magic comes they back. They look yeah. choky. Like mm -hmm. when them lights come on and that pressure come and my homes might not be my homesing, mm -hmm. yeah. they look around mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. And it, and from quarter three, he was looking it around. was nothing but yep. looking around. That's uh -huh. true. It was nothing but looking Especially around. Especially if they don't get a call or two. Yeah. Because there was True. some questionable shit going on. Yeah. If they don't get a call or two, they can't get into a rhythm. And again, you need those three or four little dump-offs, little 12-yard joints that I say Tom Brady's so good at. Yeah. You need those to get a rhythm. They couldn't find one. And he started getting sacked. And then he started looking. Like, even with his scrambles, he wasn't scrambling in the third. He'll run to get 15. Right. He'll run and get 17 yards first down, yeah. make the chains move. At he least, wasn't getting none of that nothing. shit. And they fell flat. It looked like he choked. And I fuck with him. I wanted him to win. Yeah, but it looked the, like he the, choked. The NFL felt sad that the Chiefs lost. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. NFL hates that. Nigga, yeah. Chiefs, they, Rams? They, they didn't expect this. That is a marketing dream for them. Yeah. Congratulations to the, uh, to the uh, Bengals. The organization, Joe Burrow, Chase, go go Jamar Chase, man. <laughs> and I, and they and they uh they other teammate is over there too. Yeah. The lineman was over there. I forgot I don't have his swag, name. yo. Bruh, look it's at swag. how he walks. He he, he carries the, the himself. The same dude that carried Joe Burrow after mm -hmm. the LSU game is the same Carry. dude that carried him in and sometimes about it, the man. football gods just do it. Mm-hmm. And again, this has been one of the best playoffs that I Ever. have been yes. around for. Both with, these games are great. Ever. Every game has been like decided uh, by field goal. the last yeah. possession. Some last, yeah, some last second shit. Yep. I the agree. Chiefs will get it together. Losing to Tom Brady is understandable, but this, nah, you got to wear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you got to wear that one. That's Sorry. Sorry man, you was up, I, I you was up 18 and a half. I don't want to hear none of that yeah, you're going back pretty to the, shit. I don't want to hear the shit. Room with this one, for sure. Yeah, y'all go sit with you're that. You're going to go draw something else up. I agree. They'll be back. They'll be back. In so, the, uh, so one of and, my, and, and they'll be back. They'll be but back. In the hunt. This was the year to actually. You yeah. had to do it this year. Yeah, I because don't want to hear that. They'll be back. You, you got. You got some. Back. Yo, you got some shit out to worry about out there in that AFC they, now. They might not sure. come back. It ain't like it was where everybody was like, "Oh, Kansas City yeah. just gonna run the AFC for the next fifteen years." Y'all gonna some, be. They're gonna be in the competition for the next. Yes, they are. They will. Our, our point is, it ain't a cakewalk like everybody thought it was. That shield of invincibility, that cloak, that magic. They bled. No, I remember. It's gone. I remember when the bleed. Rams. I remember when the Rams was the greatest show on turf, mm -hmm, and I remember they wasn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. They was smoking niggas' boots, mm -hmm. and it reminds you of them. Now Rams used to be so cocky they wouldn't even punt on fourth down. Let's stay with Rams. Let's get right into it. Let's not stay on football so now, for a million years. My 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 new niggas is Joe Burrow, and then I got to take my hat off to Debo. Debo said no. even in a loss, Debo's he's a dude. monster, yo. He's yo, that dude. Niners team is so tough, yo. I liked him a lot. Fuck. That was a great game, too. Yeah. I was so looking at Corey a little game. worried, yo. Because the <laughs> Rams is tough, and that's my team. But the Niners came out ninering. Yeah. yeah. They were clearly... Tough nose football. Yeah, mm -hmm. ready to go. But good old Jimmy Cooper. G. Oh. Oh, I like Fuck I y'all. Like that dropped interception changed that changed game. Changed the whole game. Fuck is y'all talking about? That it was wasn't it. none of that. It, well, he give, catch that interception. This game's over. They could have had Cooper Cup, Cooper Glass, Cooper over. Bowl. The game is over was, if that boy what, catches not, interception. Seven minutes or something left? Not he, even. Nine minutes. nine minutes left. He If they catch, if he picks that ball off and they go it's down and score a touchdown, this game's over. I agree. Fuck what y'all talking about. That changed the game because it was a bowl. Yeah, he did. I know. But it was a momentum shift as well. And it allowed, football's a game of momentum. Momentum. Mm -hmm. so and now they changed it. They had the momentum in their favor. Now I equate push that it over to the, the field goal. I equate that to the field goal. Yep. If, yeah, I think if Kansas City kicks the field goal going into the half, they win the game. That's my personal opinion. I think if Homeboy from um, the Niners catches that interception, mm -hmm. game is over. It's yeah, my, I agree. That's my opinion. I agree. But shout great to game, though. them. Great game. All the games have been great. The whole playoffs. The whole playoffs. Playoffs. Best playoffs of my lifetime, without question, that I can remember. And your man Jimmy G just he be giving the game away. I yeah. take it. Yeah. 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 Eli's little cousin. Please, please take the take, game. Yo, watch your mouth. It's Eli's cousin. <laughs> nah, that ain't Eli. Yo. That's, I'm not even cousin. going through this with you. Eli got my team two chips against the greatest quarterback in the world. Is that what he did? Yes. And let's shout out. Show love to the, the yes. greatest quarterback in the world. The greatest quarterback, greatest quarterback ever. To ever. Yeah, ever, yeah, ever. Ever. Yes. I, I agree. I about to argue it. No. <laughs> Round of applause, man. This hurts, man. Tom Brady's wife made him retire. <laughs> She made him put his little ball away, bring his ass home. You've been doing this for 22, 23 years, and I never thought you'd still be this good at it, but enough. Dead that shit. <laughs>
I'm rich. You rich. You've won more than any person or team. You got the cleft in your chin. <laughs> yeah, come sit down, yo. I know your fucking crazy ass man Gronk is waiting on your word. Call that nigga. Tell him Text him right now <laughs> and tell him no. Text Bruce Arians. Because his wife was just looking at the phone when the report came out. Yo, Tom is retiring. Tom came out and was like, nah, I don't know about that. His dad came out and said, nah, we don't know about that. She said, nigga, excuse me? No, yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, yo, no. No, no, you know about that. Yo, tell him it's true, yo. A couple of hours later. All right. Hey, man. A couple guys, of days. <laughs> hey, you guys. A couple of days. Tom Brady says, I've always believed in uh, believe the sport of football is an all-in proposition. If a hundred, uh, if a one hundred percent competitive commitment isn't there, you won't succeed. And success is what I love so much about our game. There's a physical, mental, and emotional challenge every single day that has allowed me to maximize my highest potential. And I've tried my very best these past twenty-two years. There are no shortcuts to success on the field or in life. This is difficult for me to write. See, that lets you know his wife did it because <laughs> he's such a winner. He can't even write this shit he' about to write. Actually, he didn't write. She wrote it. <laughs> press, press in, nigga. You're right. But here it goes. This one, she came in. I am not going to make that competitive commitment anymore. I've loved your know, shit been real. I loved my career. Now it's time to focus my time and energy on other things that require my attention. I am cool. I don't need no more. I'm done. I'm done. I don't care. I'm not reading no more of that. His wife made him quit. Yeah. And he gave us 22 years. Excellence. Of greatness. Nothing to say about it. It gave you a little petty in it too. That's what I like. Get, sprinkle a little petty in it. What is that? So in the in the the uh, announcement, you know, he thanked the Bucks organization, okay. the players, everything, the fans, not, coaches, no, all the coaches, co- everybody. Yeah. No mention of New England. So then he New England posted a congratulations retirement, and he just reposted that to his story and said, "Oh yeah, I love not oh yeah, but yeah, I love New England and their fans too." Like yeah, a little. <laughs> Sprinkle a little petty in there. Sound like, but you know they're gonna do some big shit. So yeah, but it still could be some petty in here. Well, true. I, I didn't leave on good terms. I want him to win it. Huh? I want him to win it. I always. He just want him won to win. it. I mean, you want him to win back to back. I want him to go out a winner. He led the league in the yards. He led the league. Not that he's not a winner. Oh. I'm just saying, like, he led the league in yards. He led the league in touchdowns. I think. I just wanted him to go out with the chip, and that would have just been fucking fairy tale ending. And yeah. he might do that if Bruce Arians don't tell Antonio Brown to pack his shit and get the fuck off my I, field. You are not lying. He I might. True. I agree with that. You can see where he needed that weapon. But shout out to Tom, man. Thank you for all the fucking aches, pains, mostly aches and heartache, pains. I'm a Dolphins fan. agonizing still losses. Still a fan, right there with you. Yeah. You ruined a lot of good Super Bowl nights for me and the yeah. squad. Nigga, you're a Giants fan. You love seeing Tom with the, in the Super Bowl. No, no, no. Because when, when no, what I also yes, I won. I won as a Giants fan. I'm saying as a football fan. True. Yeah. When you get to Super Bowl time, you're just trying to kick back in your living room and enjoy the vibe and see a good game. He put me through some stress <laughs> even in those games. Yeah. Even games on a dog in the, in the race. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to Tom, man. This one, of the, is, one of the most impressive careers in professional sports history. He has been playing. Honestly. Professional football longer than my son has been alive. And that is only the NFL part of his career. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Look at at his accolades, though. 15-time Pro Bowl, 7-time Super Bowl champ, 5-time MVP. Like, come on, dog. I don't even got to read the rest. Seven chips is nuts. And he went to a couple more. And he went to, what, 9 or 10? He went to more. Yeah. Yeah. He went to more. Tom is that dude, yo. We don't need you. Y'all, y'all don't need us to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Most of y'all saw it as well. Mm-hmm. I'm honored that I got a chance to witness For greatness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In my life. As hard as it was. And to you young, 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 young internet fucks, don't try to do this down the line and rewrite Tom. Tom is Tom. Because they do that. Oh, Alex is trying to get us to do a six hour pod. I see what he's doing. Uh-huh. You put up some more like, shit? Why do you just keep pulling things up for us to give opinions on? Chill, don't even say that out loud, though, because they'll be like, yo, y'all could do a six-hour pile. We'll take it. <laughs> these niggas here? Niggas say, yo, y'all did two hours. This is some bullshit. Damn. Do you know what's sitting up here for two hours? No, no, no. Two days so after ima- you so pile ima- it before? So imagine how you feel about them saying that about your bad album. <laughs> it was two hours. Yeah. Hey, yo, I just put mad work into this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. You hear it in 10 seconds and say, nah, it ain't it, dog. Go back. Wait, What? Fam, I, I, you know, the foot action news, foot action is closed officially. Right. So I says, Whoa. hey, I'm, I'm unemployed now. 
Oh, word. Now you could just do solo Patreons, yo. You could just, yo, wow. we could do an extra episode. Fam, what's wrong with y'all? Wow. <laughs> I'm not, no. Wow, wow. You get a sleeper. That's what you get. And wow. Before we get out of here, I have to say rest in peace to Chesley Christ. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. It's K-R-Y-S-T, former Miss USA and correspondent for Extra, allegedly self-transitioned. She was 30 years old. Uh, so we want to send our condolences, our thoughts, prayers, and love to her family, friends, fans, and loved ones, as well as Moses Mosley. Moses Mosley, actor from The Walking Dead. Passed away at 31. They don't know the circumstances. Apparently, he went missing recently. Um, no details aside from that. Totally understandable. I get it. Again, our hearts goes out. Our heart hearts go out to their families. Wow, man. Nobody wants to start a month this 30 way. and 31. Yeah. Kids. 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 Or young adults. Young adults. Yeah. yeah. Young adults. Not going to say kids, but just a short life. Yeah. A short life. Um, I want to thank you, gentlemen, for the longest pod <laughs> that I've probably ever done. Uh, we had one longer before, but. How many? Not many. Yeah. I think it was one that went for. I guess that's their payback. Huh? They was cursing us out the other day for a two hour, two no. hour and something pot. I'm cursing y'all out. <laughs> no, they were cursing us out for two hours and change. I'm cursing you out for the four hour. Oh, <laughs> you, you wasn't what, here. What do you think of that? You wasn't here. The fans not. No, I'm sure the fans are having a blast. <laughs> Let's sit here another four hours now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. We'll do the same for y'all. Until next time, we bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista. So long, goodbye, and all that good stuff. And do remember... Hey! Whoa! Yo, I gotta get back in the booth, yo. I just miss screaming on ad-libs. <laughs> you ain't got, you ain't got, you can scream nah, that, nah, scream nah, I gotta scream. Hey! Ah! Yeah, you remember that, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, now where was I? Adios, Rivadachi, blah, blah, blah. Life is a series of moments. <laughs> and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And last but not least, you niggas that's out there getting botched BBLs and getting your stomach done, risking your fucking health for a little six and eight pack. You niggas look stupid in them fucking silk shirts. Straighten up, all right? Somebody had to say it, man. You niggas ain't just home doing sit ups. <laughs> Summer coming. Lastly, I know. Go ahead and call up Dr. Paz. Talk Dr. Miami. I hear they make a real good pussy in Thailand. The baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab an ibuprofen and enjoy your headache. Until the next time, we will be back. Wait a minute. Uh Uh-oh. That's all I need. That's all I need. We'll get out of here. We got about 20 seconds to let this go. <laughs> it's the synth. When this happens, it's to put the listener at alert. That it's coming? Yeah. This is like Pepas. <laughs> 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 it's for you, Ice. He would have screamed so Come bad. on, yo. Come on. It's him. You remember. You remember. I remember. Nah, you was there for it, nigga. I, I know. You remember 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Don't do that. Don't play with me. <laughs> y'all hold it down out there. I hope y'all enjoyed the super long pod. Thank you, Ish. Yo, Ish, what do you think about the plastic Fiji comes in? <laughs> this nigga will unpack a fucking motherfucker. <laughs> 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 <laughs>